Hello, a beautiful evening. Hey, Abe, hey, Noriyuki. I know you're doing a good job at almost speed running this through. <laughs> on Inferno mode, we're playing without focus mode. It's basically, it's basically an Inferno Danganronpa run. Hey, Pink Pika, nice to hear again. Sim Salabim. Sami Sim Salabim, I kind of like that. I kind of like that, but I'm I'm pretty stuck on semi salami. <laughs> oh, you're uh, yeah. That's the other game, right? Damn, the plot sounds just like the plots. Uh. The plot uh, sounds just like uh, Dung and Rumpa, to be honest. That is no, 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 Apes. That is not the that is not the plot of Dung and Rumpa. Uh, that is uh, the No Nary game. Oh, okay. Should, yeah. Next stream game confirmed? Yeah, in this case it is. In this case, it is not gonna be no surprise. The next stream game is gonna be the Final Fantasy VII remake. All right, uh, let me start up the game. More gory and more dark? Yeah, I can imagine that. To be honest, like the first murder in this game, like or the first execution, also the first murder, Junko's murder, they were uh, more, um, they were way more brutal than the other murders. So actually, I was a little bit surprised that it. Uh, I thought it would become more brutal and more brutal and more brutal, but it, it rather stepped down than the other way around. But yeah, I like I like some gore too. That's why yesterday I said when Ella was here, like she would love the game because we watched a lot of gore animes back then. Like, was definitely was definitely a genre we feel felt attracted to. Gameplay is very different. I wonder if I've seen some of it, but I don't think so. It's like escape room. Okay, I see. Uh... Leon killed Sayaka. I guess we're getting a little wrap up of who died. Uh, give me a second here. Leon killed Sayaka. Monokuma killed Junko. Then Leon got executed. Then Mondo killed Chihiro. And then he got executed. Hifumi killed Taka, then Celeste killed Hifumi. Then she got executed. And that brings us up to now. The next morning in the dining hall, the day after Celeste's case. So now there's only five of us here. Only a third of the number of people we started with. Loneliness has become commonplace. That's true. Still. What did I see yesterday? I almost I almost forgot. I love how Sami holds their height and patiently finishes the current game before going to Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Of course! It's only gonna be better that way. I how do you call is there a word for it in English? In German we have the word Vorfreude. It means basically uh, happiness before. So it's like a it's like a growing happiness before something happens. Like as a kid before Christmas, right? The the suspense of like when you get your presents. So um Yeah, and I love that feeling. I love that feeling, you know, like, I, I'm really, I'm really hyped to play Final Fantasy 7 and I like waiting even longer, so I will be even happier <laughs> and even more excited. 
Even if the game, maybe the game does disappoint me in the end, doesn't matter. It's like anxiety, but good. Right, sleepy, right. Danger Romper was inspiration from Saw and other killing games movies. Oh, I think it goes way further, uh, Pink Pika. Um, like the battle, you call this battle royale, right? And I don't mean Fortnite, okay? <laughs> but the battle royale theme, there is literally an anime, an, a pretty old anime called, isn't it like called, is it, isn't, isn't the name just battle royale? There's also a live action movie. But yeah, the, this theme of like students in a, in a game of life and death is a very common anime theme and there are very old animes actually around that. So that was way before Saw and I would think that it's rather inspired by that. Um, it's still a theme up to today, like even just like I think last year I read a manga with like, no, it wasn't a school, but it was also like a game of like people wearing masks and killing people. Prince, hey. Yeah, apparently I summoned Prince by saying Fortnite. Prince, I, I didn't expect that. Okay, what did I see yesterday? I don't understand. Sakura is the mastermind spy. Can that really be true? Makoto, are you okay? N no, I'm fine. I can't bring it up in front of the others. If I did that, it would just confuse everyone that much more. Hmm. But I think it's the safest to bring it up in front of everybody, right? <laughs> I used to playing Fortnite with viewers. <laughs> I'm not playing Fortnite at all. Not alone and not with viewers. Samuel, I'll ban you from Twitch for the implications in your mind right now. <laughs> oh. so, it sounds just like a like a salty Fortnite kid. <laughs> I used to have a gore anime template when I was 13. I was so edgy. Oh, sleepy, yeah. I loved gore anime. It's like... I really did. So I'm like, this story with like kids in a school, it's like all those great animes I've, I've watched and all mangas I read as a teenager. Well, I'm gone. <laughs> oh, Prince, come back, come back. We can free you from your, from your sins. The coffee weaves will help you. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Prince. I just, you know, I. <laughs> it's hard for me sometimes to, to, uh, to let it go. And look, you didn't become a violent criminal, even though you did. No, I didn't. I'm, though. <laughs> I mean, you're all always accusing me of being the mastermind and everything. All the cult murders are only happening in here, chat. I was a fan of the. I was a fan too, King Snaker. I, I read the Death Note manga. I watched the anime. I even watched like not the new live action. There was an old live action movie. It was a Japanese one, I think. Um, I was a. I was. I was a big fan. I mean, it's still a good anime. It's just outdated at this point. But back then, I still. Like, it, back then it was really good. Yeah, the, the old live action movie wasn't terrible. It also wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. It was also a rather short one. I mean, I think it was, wasn't even one and a half hours. Oh, no, Noriyuki. I learned English. So, chat. I learned English because I watched animes with English subtitles. No, I watched them all original um, voices and English subtitles. There wasn't even like a big uh, German dubbing scene or anything. Like, 
when I was little, there were only very few animes available in German. So, yeah. I learned English because I watched anime. And read manga. I learned English from the translations. <laughs> The only good thing in live action is uh, the RHCP song and it's us. I don't remember that one. I watched a lot of anime with gore. I have watched the Promised Neverland, a bit of Death Note. Oh yeah, Neverland I remember too. Neverland wasn't bad either. Wasn't Neverland like the one that only had like one season but was pretty good? I like I think I remember Neverland. I think it had a pretty abrupt ending and wasn't very really finished. Uh, well, yeah, not anime, Noriyuki. When I was little, the only animes that existed over here were Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Detective Conan, Cowboy Bebop, ne uh, uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion, and one more, one more, two more, actually. But yeah, that's it. Um, Japanese? Yeah, I never learned Japanese, Nuriyuki. Like, I... Okay, that's not true, actually. I learned a little bit of Japanese. But what I mean is I watched the animes in Japanese with English subtitles. But uh, yeah, only very few animes were available in German back then. Yu-Gi-Oh! came a little bit later, Sleepy. I mean, yeah, but yeah, like only very few animes were dubbed in German. Like, also the animes weren't even sold over here. So I would go online and watch them on portals or download them, which is kind of like a gray zone. Because obviously it was illegal, but since nobody in Germany had the rights to those enemies, there would be nobody to sue you for watching them. Today that's completely different. Today there is a broad uh, variety of enemies available in Germany. But when I was uh, watching them as a teenager, most of the enemies weren't available in Germany and weren't licensed over here. So watching them wasn't like wasn't a risk because there would be nobody to sue you. Brand, hey, nice you're here. Japanese isn't that hard, it's just not popular. Well, the thing is, if you're uh, like speaking a European language natively, uh, obviously Japanese is a lot harder to learn than any other European language because the grammar is very different. Um, so... It's, it's just you have to think differently about it. <laughs> True, two, three, four. <laughs> but yeah, I did learn a little bit Japanese back in school um, and that's it. But yeah. I know many people who know it. Well... In theory, most of the population on the world is able to speak, uh, like, learned English, right? But the reality is, like, there is a big difference, right? For example, like, my English is so good because I stream in English compared to other German people, right? And I, like, it has brought me to a point where I'm saying, like, 90% of Germans can't speak English. <laughs> Obviously, they understand English and they can write in English, but they can't speak English. It's the same with all these people you know that learn Japanese. Me included. I was never able to fluently speak Japanese. Come on. Right? So, I don't know. I guess, I guess I've come to another standard a little bit. But, like, you never really are truly able to speak a language if you don't speak it on a... a frequent basis.
Yeah, Noriyuki, I can imagine. And I mean, it's especially hard for you. Like, right? It's the same thing. Like, our grammar and our letters are so different. So obviously, it's very, very, it's a lot harder for you to learn English than it was for me because English and German are a lot, uh, have a lot more in common than uh, Chinese and English. I'm not sure what the Pascan, Pascani, Pascan means. Oh, okay, it's about, it's shit in, in, oh, it's some Finnish going on. I want to see Sami trying to learn Finnish. I'm not really interested. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's Finnish isn't a, isn't a language that excites me. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's let's continue with the game. Okay, in that case, let's eat till we pass out. What do you mean in that case? Well, cause look how scary everyone looks. It's gotta be cause you're all fighting on empty stomachs, right? If you fill your belly, I'm sure you'll all cheer up. So let's eat. What game? Let's fry up some fish and donuts and eat till we can't stand up. That's like a deep impact style meteor impact extinction level event combination of foods. What? Those are both breakfast time top sellers. Still, the till we can't stand up part is a problem. After we're done, we need to go explore. That's right, since the class trials are over, new areas should have opened up. Plus, we still have Alter Ego, we don't have to give it into despair just yet. She's right, we have to plan ahead and think about the future. You got it. Yeah, yeah, think happy thoughts, not deathy thoughts. Nope. Like when we're gonna get out of here, right? When this is all over, I think I wanna get reborn for serious. I mean, reborn as someone serious. Hey, are you okay? That sounds like something someone who's about to die would say. I'm totally okay. I'm not gonna die. Why? Because there aren't gonna be any more murders. Oh, that makes you so sure. I predicted it last night. Since it revealed itself to me from the ether, there's no doubt about it. How accurate is your fortune telling anyway? I can usually hit 20 or 30% on a good day. That seems really low. Well, yeah, it's not like it's ESP or whatever. Of course I'm only gonna get it right sometimes. I told you, my fortune telling isn't like some occult thing. Fortune telling isn't occult? Of course not. Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. Don't put it in the same category as cattle mutilation. Cattle what? He's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows and dissect them as part of their research. No. You're calling it an urban legend? As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it happened to me. The aliens confused Hero with a cow. So they kidnapped him to do cow experiments on him. <laughs> that is what I'm, what I'm hearing here. Okay, chat has, has gone on with language. Sounds legit, right? It all happened one day when I went to go get a hamburger. See, he wanted a hamburger. And the burger is made from cow meat. So... He planned to catch a cow. And then the aliens caught him. It was a place I'd never been before. They claimed their patties were 100% all beef. <laughs> My god, where is this going? <laughs> it's, it's, it sounds like it's gonna be even more ridiculous than what I suggested here. So I got a burger to go and headed home. And before long, the sky was filled with a mysterious blinding light. The cows are being abducted, even when they're processed. Okay, 
So I, so I stormed back into the burger place and got under the manager's grill and they totally admitted it. It wasn't 100% beef, they totally mixed in ground pork with it. Now, do you see? That is cattle mutilation. I kind of got lost halfway through. I can't tell if you're for the cold or get against it. You stink of stupidity. I stink of? How dare you? Well, you do st stink though. That's fine. That's fine. Um, anyway, I hope your prediction turns out to be true. Well, at the very least, I won't murder anyone. Me either. I mean, I would never. I, I think... I think Hina is gonna be a murderer. I don't think she's gonna be a victim at this point. If she's gonna be a victim, I'm mad. Like, she shouldn't be here anymore unless she 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 she's she's gonna be a murderer. Me either. No, I. That goes for me too, of course. I would never kill any of my friends. I felt like those words of encouragement were helping us come together as one. After so much sacrifice and hardship, we'd finally become united. But, to be honest, I wish Byakya and Toko were here for this too. But they're so hard to deal with. They only think about themselves. Yeah, we're better off without him, I say. That was enough to prove. We were united for the time being, but within that bond hid weakness and fragility. We began our search as soon as we'd finished our breakfast in the dining hall. We had to find out what happened up what was waiting for us. Friend. Wow. Wow. They are very autistic. Okay, wait. Uh... Oh yeah, what about those stairs? Just here, right side around the corner. Nope, still closed. Where does this lead? Wait a moment. Oh yeah, okay. I mean, it could also just be the fourth floor that has opened. Quite likely. I, I think you typoed artistic. <laughs> Very nice. Oh. Yeah, let's check if... Uh, I mean, I could have just uh, teleported up, I guess. Oh, the irony? What irony, Prince? There we go, fourth floor. Why do they need a restroom if they have toilets in their rooms? I mean, it's just because the school has restrooms, right? All right, Noriyuki, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a beautiful rest. So now we have access to the fourth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. Maybe this time we'll find some kind of clue. No, this time I have to find it. Oh, damn. What's this? No good, the door's locked. I guess I won't be getting in here. According to the nameplate, this is called the Data Center, but what's behind the door is a total mystery. Hmm. Oh! Oh, this is the monitor room. Damn. They are letting us... Like, Monokuma is getting us close to the monitor room? Wow. <clears throat> Inside the room, the smell of medicine was oppressive. So this is the chem lab. I hope inhaling all of the stuff doesn't do permanent damage. Hina and Sakura seem to be lost in a deep but friendly conversation. I need to find out what's going on with Sakura and the Master, but I can't while she's with Hina. Oh my god, guys. What if Hina is gonna kill Sakura because they're so good friends? She's totally... She would totally be able to, you know, 
find a way to kill Sakura without having to fight her. Hey, you need something? No, it's nothing. You sure? Okay then. I don't know. I, I just I just this this cute little face has to become a murderer. They're, they're at this point, you know. Oh, I'm supposed to. Okay. <clears throat> it's a remarkably big shelf, and it's stocked with all kinds of medicine. Poison? Yeah, poison. It could definitely be poison. Can love? Can we smoke wheat here? A cute boo face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thick plot armor, as Silheim yesterday said. Ah, listen, Makoto, listen, just take a deep breath and calm down and listen to me. Okay, Hina, just chill out. There's all kinds of stuff we didn't have before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, creatine. And what? They even have proteins... Prote protein Zoom X. What's that? High-quality protein drink. It's nothing like the cheap swill in the warehouse. It's connoisseur level. Oh, yeah. This is amazing. It's a gold mine. Ah, my prayers have finally been answered. Time to load up some more prayers then. A gold mine, huh? Hmm. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything else of interest here. The principal's office, or what? A friend gave me a spare coat for Guilty Gear better coming up. Didn't get picked myself. I guess they didn't really think about how many emails could be from the same person for signups. I mean, it's not really about like not thinking about it. You just can't prevent it. If somebody makes 20 email accounts or you don't even need to make email accounts, like you can also have just uh, trash emails or a catch all. Yeah, like I, I could like just create 100 mails in a blink and use them to, to register. The only way you could prevent that is by blocking the same IP address that doesn't completely prevent it, but makes it harder. But then you have the issue that then siblings couldn't register or like a family because they are living in the same house. Yeah, except you can still go around IP address using VPNs, but you're basically shutting out the people that have no knowledge about this and are living in the same house. Yeah, aliases uh, work too. I mean, yeah. Yeah, Prince, if you have like a server, you don't really, it's not really that hard. As Abe said, there are also aliases, which basically allow you to make like some sort of, it's like a wild card, like a pattern. Um, where you can say like, basically this pattern matches to my server, uh, like matches to my mail. It's, it's like a catch all. In, in a way, but these email accounts don't actually exist. Like I could say on my server, Sami Salami, I could say like everything that starts with Sami uh, and maybe a plus sign or a minus um, is valid. And then I could use Sami minus one at samisalami.com, Sami minus two, and I don't actually have to create those emails. They are all ending up in the same um, mail inbox. <laughs> Kingsmaker. Uh, it's actually not. <clears throat> like, I, you could do something like that yeah if if i just if the pattern was just start with sami yes then that would work <laughs> brand this is the office but of course there's no hint of any teachers that we'd normally be able to rely on there's a flower on the desk somewhat makes things feel that much weirder Hmm. 
Oh, another picture. Huh? There's a picture on the floor. This picture. Again! See, it's like we're in the parallel universe. Or... I don't know. A parallel universe? Or this is... I don't know. Or time is frozen and we're not actually people here are not actually dying or something. Oh yeah, yeah, King Snaker, true. Okay, yeah, I didn't know about that feature from Google. What? Celeste, Tifumi, and Sayaka. The smiling faces of three people who are dead now. A classroom without metal plates over the windows. It's exactly the same. It's just like the picture I saw before. Damn, Brent. There's no way this isn't important somehow. They're smiling the way you'd expect any normal teenagers to smile. Just a normal group of high schoolers living a normal school life. I can't possibly believe they were able to smile like that in a world of despair like this. Makoto, stop staring at it. Put it away before Monokuma comes around and steals it. So does that mean this picture was taken before they ever come, came to help speak? Which would mean everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here. Including Sayaka? No, there's no way. Monokuma did it. It must be fake. You're fake? Monokuma popped up out of nowhere and snatched the picture from my hand. A forgery plot? What are you, a middle schooler? You think the moon landing was fake too? Come on. Then you're saying this picture is real? If there were such a thing as the Nobel Truth Prize, I'd take first, second, and fourth place. Actually, that's probably not true. I, I asked you a question. Is this picture real or is it a fake? Oh, Makoto, you're so eager to split things in half, aren't you? That's no use. That's, it's just no use. If you try to split something that can't be split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. The picture is real. No more, no less. Add another word when Akuma disappeared. So the picture is real? It's really real? If that's true, if that's the case. Yeah, Prince. All, sh all kind of shippings are uh, delayed. The nameplate on the door says Headmaster's Room. The Headmaster's Room, there must be something worthwhile in there. Huh, the door's locked. Damn it. Ding. The fifth floor. This school has many floors. This is the music room. It's hardly even a classroom. It's more like an actual concert hall. Hey. You know, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think? So... About the secret room in the boys' bathroom. Ah, well, um, I did find the secret room, but as soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. Attacked? By who? Well, they came from behind. I didn't have any time to act, so I didn't see who it was. And when I came to, the mountains of files and documents were all gone. I'm sorry, I know how important those were. It's okay, I already saw what I need to in there. And I half suspected the mastermind might come after you. What? Because when I discovered the room, the mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. They must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Still, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted to see how the mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the mastermind actually knew about that room. But to attack you and steal everything in the room, that must mean there was some unknown clue in there that could reveal the mastermind's identity. Then you knew I was gonna get attacked? You can handle that kind of thing though, right? After all, you're a boy. What does she think a boy is? Fine, I understand. But let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said you must not leave? We shouldn't talk about that, not here. Kyoko stole a quick glance at the surveillance camera. I'm looking into it. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. Is that okay? She made it sound like she was asking, but it was clear I wouldn't have any say in the matter. So now it's your turn. Let's see your secret, huh? Did you think I wouldn't notice? You are hiding something. Am I wrong? Th that's... Your school had three? 
Yeah, I think mine had three too. No, actually, I was on two different schools, like in middle school. And uh, one actually did have more. One had four. How many floors are our middle schools had? Or high schools, I guess, both. I was just saying that, like, uh, Hope's Peak has five floors so far, maybe even more. That's uh, quite a quite a large amount of floors for a school. What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Mm, well, we're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? You're right, that there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have evidence for it. Huh. I wonder if this is a no choice choice. I feel like honestly it's safer to let someone know if you trust that someone. Because we are a threat to Sakura right now. Yeah, Kingsnaker, we also have schools that do everything. Though usually elementary schools are separate. Um, but then middle school and high school are mostly one. One school. Mm. Chad, what do you say? Do we tell her? I like Kyoko, but I'm not sure that I trust her. It's about telling her that we saw Sakura with Monokuma. She's the ultimate pleb. Tell her, tell her. All right, all right, all right, it's. True Prince? Well, I her. I haven't found conclusive evidence yet. If I talk about it, it could just make things that much worse. Friends shouldn't keep secrets, but it was a no choice choice. Fuck you, game. Uh, sorry, I can't tell you, not yet. So that's your answer. But do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say, but now you're unwilling to share? I'm sorry, I really am. That's fine. That's fine. Bye. Goodbye. With those as her parting words, Kyoko left me standing there alone. Damn, I feel like this is gonna turn out very bad for us. Is this Mass Effect 3? <laughs> no. I think I made her mad. I've already taken a good look at things around here. There's a lot to think about, but for now I should head back to the dining hall and talk to the others. Not long after I got to the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. And after a few minutes... Hmm. So, is this everyone? Okay, let's discuss what we all discovered. Yeah, good idea! Mm, Kyoko? She's ignoring me. Hey, Makoto, does Kyoko seem upset to you? She is, isn't she? She's totally mad. Yeah, it looks like it. What's your deal? I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. Oh, this is bad. Metal sheets had been attached to all the windows on the fourth floor. None of them budged an inch. Just like everywhere else. Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That was to be expected, though. I found a couple rooms on the first, fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center and the headmaster's room. The headmaster's room? That sounds like exactly the kind, kind of place we'd find some clues. We can somehow unlock the door and get inside. Who cares about a stupid lock? Should be no problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock down one measly door. What was that? Ooh. No, please, continue. 
Did you say I've got the nicest butt on the block? The curviest hips in town? Is that what you said? Hell no, I didn't. Then what did you say? Cause I know you weren't talking about tearing down the door to the headmaster's room. Knocking down your headmaster's door? What kind of war and education are you trying to start here? That's my room, you know. It is now, anyway. And you're thinking of busting it down? You seriously don't want to piss me off. Do you have any idea how much bacteria lives in a single bear claw? No, I was just kidding. Please don't get mad. I'm not mad! You're totally mad! I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but if you're gonna go around having those thoughts, I have no choice but to add to the school regulations. Seriously? Breaking down a locked door is prohibited. There, that's the rule now, you jerks. Oh, so it is okay to break down doors that are not locked. The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. I is he gone? Ugh, man, I was scared for my life. I was sure he was gonna kill me, for serious. But if he would go out of his way to make up a rule like that, there's no doubt that something important must be hidden in the Hasmas' room. But now that it's a rule, there's nothing we can do. Yeah. I'm not mad. There was a big shelf in the chem lab on the fourth floor and it had all kinds of chemicals and stuff. And there was an all-star cast of nutrient ad additives and supplements. You should at least go take a peek, I highly recommend it. I think you and Ogre are probably the only ones interested in stuff like that. Oh, but it's not all good stuff though. There was medicine and health stuff, but on top of that, there was also um, a bunch of different poisons. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Apes, I think, you know, I think, Hina, poisoning Sakura, hmm? Not so far off now. Where's our beloved Toko dead? <laughs> they were all labeled clearly though, so it would be hard to grab one by mistake. It's true. Still, we'd better make sure we're careful around there. And we probably shouldn't tell Byakuya or Toko about the poison, right? What do you mean? Well, just in case, you know what I'm trying to say. J just in case, yeah, I think you're right. It's Byakuya, it won't be long before he's discovered it for himself. But to put something as dangerous as poison right out in the open, that's absolutely the work of the mastermind. So has everyone said what they need to say? I think so. That looks like nobody found any clues at all, let alone a way out of here. I haven't been this depressed since my house burned to the ground. Someone do something to cheer me up. Can I say something? It's because my dad was smoking in bed. That's... no, I have something I'd like to report. So you guys all remember, right? You remember when I found that picture up on the third floor the other day? You mean the one that showed Monochiro and Leon all together, right? Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I found another one. Another picture, almost just like that one. Another one? But this time the picture was of Celeste, Fumi, and Sayaka. Huh? And they were all smiling. And the classroom in the picture didn't have any metal covering the windows. So the picture of Mondochira and Leon wasn't the only one. Now you found one that had Celeste, Fumi, and Sayaka. But how can that... Marukuma must have faked it. But if the picture is real, then everyone who was in it... There would have to be some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand. Can't be, it's a fake. But Murakuma said it was real. I know you could just write that off as a lie, but... Then you trust Murakuma's words over the people who have died? Huh? That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, that's not it. I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refused to do the same. That that's not... What's going on, Kyoko? Why are you getting so emotional? She's not. She's playing us. I don't understand why she's so angry. Come on guys, stop fighting or all your good, look is, good luck is gonna float away. Anyway, Makoto, you're thinking about it too much. There's no way Monokuma didn't fake that picture. He's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokuma has to say. You might be right, but still. Are you still so conflicted? It looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. Byakuya, you all have the same sunken look on your faces. 
You were also ugly before, you shouldn't let them sink any lower. When I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking in a pile of manure. Sorry. Why are you apologizing? Leave us alone, you're not part of this. That's true enough, your problems aren't mine, we aren't always will be completely separate. Celeste ain't smiling? Yeah, but I guess it was a cheerful situation. So whatever's causing your faces to turn so ugly has absolutely nothing to do with me. And if I happen to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Huh? Did he finally just say something useful? Piakia, hey. what have you been up to? I don't mind telling you, perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do you some good. I was in the bath, what else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? He was taking a bath? Is he saying he's been talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell him something? Maybe we should all go take a bath. Oh, good idea. A mixed bath? A mixed bath! If Alter Ego really did tell him something, I wonder what it could have been. De, 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 de. It is true, Alter Ego did say yesterday that uh, their files would be probably unlocked today. When I got to the dressing room, Toku was sitting alone on the bench, the laptop in front of her. Toku, did you decide to come hear what Alter Ego has to say too? I, I already heard it with Master. With Master? You don't have to keep saying it anyway, so what are you doing right now? Shut up, stop bothering me. Get out of the way, we have to talk to Alter Ego. No, I made Master a promise. A promise? Master told me to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. What are you, is Doc? Panna, hey, nice you're here. Oh, Panna, oh no. Oh, <laughs> crunch, crunch. Mm. Just forget about it, Panda. You know, it's like how we eat like multiple spiders in our life. If it's what Master wants, I do anything he asks. You just love being mistreated. Well, fine, if you really want me gone, by all means. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? We'd like you to move. Sure thing, just kneel before me and back. First a mega masochist, now a super sadist. Drew said Jack is sitting in front of the laptop, I can't get to it. Um, Toko, seriously, I'm asking you nice that you let us use the laptop. Hmm? Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and back. Come on, Makoto, give her the all one two combo. One drop to your knees, two beseech. What are you act why are you acting like you're not part of this? I was as desperate as I felt. Finally I did kneel down in front of her and I said, Please, I'm begging you, will you please let us use the laptop? Such an ultra miraculous feeling of happiness. All my pent up anger and master for abusing me is evaporating. So even you realize it's abuse. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. Okay! Everyone, come closer. I already told Byakia, but I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on this laptop. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. Just what I thought. Finally, the time has come. I'm starting to get kind of nervous. I felt the same way. Resting on the keyword my hands had started to shake. Move. The single word was like a sharp blade. Wounded, I moved to let it take over. Here we go. Kyoko began typing the words, appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? Sure. I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. And one particularly important fact I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect here. To isolate the students of Hope's Peak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the stated goal of the plan, but it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. Th 
that's... It's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was... None other than the administrators of Hope's Peak themselves. What? Wait, hold on. Then the reason we've been imprisoned here? It wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever? It was the school itself? That doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. It seems that the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened one year ago. This is how they described that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Ah. Uh, I mean, if the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history happened, we should know about it, right? Unless we have indeed traveled through time or to a parallel universe. The plot thickens. <laughs> <gasps> so yeah i think i don't know what do i think is like we saw some warping when we entered this entered the school or oh, alter ego lies that could be a possibility too but i like the okay Initially, I was more on the parallel universe train, but now I'm more on the time travel train just because he showed everyone like these uh, videos, right? With what would happen. So I feel like there is more like a time travel thing going on. Alter Ego is being framed. <laughs> okay. What does that mean? Yeah, what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise known as the tragedy, it was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, Hope's Peak Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. I see, things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is one year ago, this thing, this tragedy, took place. And whatever it was, it forced Hope's Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. They planned to sequester the students here where they would live out the rest of their lives. But why would the Hope's Peak administrators want to shut everyone in like that? And what could this tragic event have possibly been? In a flash, Kyoko had typed the questions into the, the computer, and the answer we got was... Sorry, I don't know. If that information was ever on this computer, it's gone now. I'm totally useless, I'm sorry. And that's all he said. Then is this really the end? We got halfway through the answer and that's it? It would appear so. Disappointing. Oh wait, there's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has to do with the mastermind. The mastermind? Kyoko's fingers moved even faster than they had so far. Did you figure out the mastermind's identity? No, that I still don't know, but I did find a clue, I think. The one leading the Hope's Peak stuff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, was the Hope's Peak Headmaster. So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the Headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible even likely that he's somewhere in the school right now. Hero? Hero isn't that old, but still, Hero? <laughs> Imagine Hero being, in fact, the, the psycho headmaster. The mastermind. The headmaster is here in the school? Okay. And that's gotta be the mastermind. I mean, Monokuma's been calling himself the headmaster, right? Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. But if we break down the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? I'll find a way. No matter what it takes, I'll find the headmaster. See? This girl has some history. I don't think she... Okay, maybe this is like... The, so... I guess if she had already participated in this, by now she would have given more hints towards that. 
but she has some history with the school or someone or the master apparently the mastermind hmm No matter the cost. Kyoko, what's going on? I can't explain why. I just know what I have to, that I have to find him. She has to. Kyoko, what's going on with you? When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. That seemed to be her attempt to regain her composure, and she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? I'm sorry, that's everything I found. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I can do from here. I'm really sorry. Then it really is all over. Wait, Alta Ego seems to have more to say. Um, well, it's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. I haven't seen Celeste, Fumi, or Taka since yesterday. A heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was the flat, precise clicking of keys as Kyoko typed. They're all dead. What? I see. Certainly I knew that was a possibility, but... It really happened. I'm oh, sorry. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Well then, I guess that's it. That's it. A simple phrase that held so much meaning. She began typing again. You've done your job. Thank you. I'm done? I guess I am, huh? Huh? <laughs> then maybe I'll take a little rest. Oh god. Is Chihiro actually gonna murder someone? I mean, whenever we do the class trials, the dead people, they are still there for you to pick them. Is Alter o Ego gonna go nuts? And it's gonna be like, I'm gonna kill everyone so I can't lose anyone anymore? <laughs> okay. I'm kinda tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. With that, the laptop ended sleep mode. So Alter Ego did everything he could. We won't have to talk to him at all that much anymore. But I feel kind of sorry for him. You feel sorry? But he's just a computer program, right? I know, but still, he did everything he could for us, you know? I mean, yeah, it did. But that's what a computer program is designed to do. You don't tell a computer good job every time you shut it down, do you? I do. I do. My computer needs lots of love. Well, no, but when we talked to Alter Ego, I guess I just didn't see it that way. I know what you mean, I feel the same way. Hey, come on, it's just a program. You can tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? But you know, what's the difference between us and that program, really? Huh? I started thinking about how you would differentiate a person and an AI. Alter Ego isn't human, I know that, it's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. Yeah, he's no different from us. He's still our friend. Think maybe I understand where you're coming from. Then there's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends, the merrier, right? Check this out. Friendship has no survival value. Instead, gives value to survival. So anyway. Don't say anyway that. It's a totally smart and cool thing that I quoted from I don't remember where. Anyway, there's nothing more all that you can do to help us. As such, his role is in this over. Am I wrong about that? No, but... And frankly, I question the ease with which you decide who is and isn't your friend. Do you really mean that? The story's gotten off track. We should go over what Alter Ego said one more time. Yeah, good idea. What was the Hope's Peak stuff thinking? Why are they making us kill each other? Alter Ego said what happened one year ago is what started everything. Yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? Yeah, so there is no way... There is no fucking way, then, that they wouldn't know about it. So they are either in the future... ...or in a parallel universe. I feel like it would be weird to join the group if you are the mastermind. Like, what if you are the one that gets murdered? I mean, but you have Monokuma and everything under control. I'm sure you could prevent that from happening. But I do agree, Sleepy, kinda. I mean, they have a spy. And it seems Sakura is that spy. Sakura! <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm 
Pandas for Panda the stream isn't playing. Can top secret event be the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event? I don't know, but if you say in human history, it means like it's a moment recorded in human history, King Snaker. Like, there could have millions of people died thousands of years ago. If it's not recorded in history, it's not a the most awful moment in history because it's not recorded. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't think so. Imagine Hifumi, Hifumi invented a cure to cancer. And you executed him. Okay. I mean, what you're saying is, I mean, if he already invented it, it wouldn't be a big issue. What you are saying is, what if I executed Tifumi, but if I didn't, he would have had developed a cure to cancer, right? That's what you're saying. So indirectly, you are kind of confirming my, uh, my time travel theory here, aren't you? No. <laughs> No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Or parallel universe. I mean, both is fitting. Parallel universe or time travel. Both fits. Where's the Karichan? She's in the room here. But she's a spy. But uh, here's the thing. I do agree that is, is the biggest, most awful moment. But I feel like the term in human history states that it's something that is noticed, you know, on a big scale and actually recorded in human history and not n something that would have happened that nobody knows of. Like, if you look at the real world, who knows what miracles we already prevented from happening in human history. But since we don't know that we prevented these miracles, there are no bad, like those are not bad moments in our history. Stop with the Sakura shaming. I'm talking about if it says, the, also, I mean, they're highlighting it, they're making it bold, they're making it yellow. The biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, I'm saying that they would know about that. Because if you say in human history, it should be something that is well known, that is like recorded in human history. Yeah, yeah Kingsnaker, I'm not saying like it must be like this. I'm just saying the wording implies it. Like, it could also be bad translation, like, right? Like, the, but the wording does imply it. And that's why I'm saying it. My theory of this be of either time travel or a parallel universe being involved here is um, supported by this sentence. Because that way they wouldn't know about uh, this event. Because they're either in a parallel universe or maybe they travel to the future. Optogenetics may be taking that away from you. Oh, I think you're responding to apes, but... Uh... Yeah, right, apes. I think the school stuff is making the thing way bigger than it actually is. Yeah, apes, that could be true too. I'm just, I'm not saying, I'm not saying it is necessarily like that. Like, 
I do get that it doesn't have to be like that. But the wording still implies it. But yeah, it could also be all just be a big joke. Definitely. It must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. But something like that really happened a year ago? I don't remember anything happening that you could describe that way. What about you guys? I don't really watch the news, so... Sorry, nothing comes to mind. That event led to the closing of Hope's Peak. If nothing else, it must have had some kind of connection to the school. Maybe all the students were here were killed or something. That kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. Then maybe they covered it up. That would explain why none of us knew what the school had been, that school had been shut down. Totally covering up something like that. I suppose it's not totally impossible. What's wrong with our government? Our taxes pay their salaries. They should be handling stuff like that. Maybe, but right now there's only one path open to us. We have to find the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. As long as we can get our hands on him, I think. Kyoko. When she said headmaster, I got that feeling again. But even that is a problem not so easily solved. Yeah, you're right. A lot of business is done here, so for now we should get out of here. Oh yeah, good idea. Then I... Is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean... Oh no, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not guarding it. Byakuya is gonna be so mad at me. Let's avoid getting involved any further. Good call. Well, no, no, they, they clearly said they had to shut down because of that event, Apes. It's not the school shutting down. You finally get out and it's like no one's dead and everyone yells surprise. Yeah. I feel like the pictures we saw could be pictures of... You know, another reality in which we weren't here. I still think that people really die here. But it's like those pictures are from another reality in which we didn't end up here. I bet 100 bits the biggest, most awful, most hopeless moment in human history is the day when Hope's Peak Academy was shut down. Oh, apes. Uh, apes, why are you doing this to you? No, 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 they... If you watch the what back apes, Chihiro clearly said they don't know what the event is, but the event forced the school to shut down. Do you really think people die when they are killed? <laughs> I mean, okay, they definitely died, no matter what, but you know, there could still be a plot line in which like, haha, we're just in this virtual reality, so you're not actually dead. They just woke up somewhere, you know? Something like that. But I don't think it's, that's gonna be it. I think they still died here. Um... But they are like, I don't know, I, I'm still thinking like time travel or parallel reality. Is this Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> Is this the Matrix? Oh, sorry. Yeah. But as we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. My heart is pound, pound, pounding away. Oh god, I think Chihiro is gonna die. It's pounding with anger! You're not still mad about that whole breaking into the headmaster's room thing, are you? Oh, that little matter doesn't matter even a little. And I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying an indecent mixed bath, but that doesn't matter either. It's building! I feel it building! My head's about to boil over with rage! Don't get so angry, you let me help send to your chakra. Etch this on the walls of your brain, okay? If I do something to me, I do it right back. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Fang for a fang. Be, be careful, it just chanted the incantation of devastation. No, it's just a saying. Oh, I see. But what was he talking about? 
No, they didn't actually take a bath. Why was there blood pink? I think that's just the aesthetics of the game. Though it would be hilarious if actually it turned out it never was real blood. And that's why it was pink. So it's night time. What does everyone want to do? Celeste was the one who suggested our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. I think we should still avoid being out at night time. I know it will make me feel better that way. I agree. It's true. Very well then. In that case, time for bed. So everyone head back to the rooms. Monokuma's parting words left me feeling anxious the rest of the night. So I think it's about Shihiro. So he's mad that we did that without telling him so he's gonna do something without telling us like murdering alter ego <laughs> apes still betting a toko someday you'll be right apes once i was back in my room i got lost in thought what we'd learned from alter ego kept on spinning around and around in my mind that mistress of hope's peak had planned all of this they did because of the tragedy which had happened a year before, and apparently the headmaster is the one behind it all, the mastermind. All these mysteries make me worried, but I still have to try and unravel them bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. Let's talk a bit about where I was at before I became a bear. At first I was a total loss. I just had no idea what I should become. A lady in our tech support department suggested I try being a shrimp. She was like, Oh, the company's been trying to push for this forever. It's a really incredible offer. But as she laid out all the details, it turned out it wasn't a tiger prawn like I'd hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp. That's totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. I like eating shrimp. I didn't want to be one myself. Plus someone might come along and step on me. So then the lady totally started laughing at me. She was like, you think we can do a tiger prawn on our budget? So ultimately, I decided to become a bear instead. And that's the... S origin story of Who's Gloria Gaynor? First things first, I need to head to the dining hall. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a new motive. Wait, I don't have to teleport. Oh, I will survive. Yeah, I know the song, I know the song. I wanted to, at first I wanted to sing a little bit, but I was like, nah, I, I'm not gonna get that into my head. As I entered the dining hall, the first thing I saw was her. What are you staring at? Otoko. Oh, what do you think your eyes will rot just by looking at me? Fine, then don't look at me. I think he's just surprised to see you at the breakfast meeting is all. Indeed, it's been quite a while since you joined us. Yeah, what made you change your mind? Byakuya said he likes a girl to have some meat on her bones, so... I'm gonna start eating! I'm gonna force it down into my stomach. I'm gonna eat till I drop. I refuse to lose. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, other than that, it looks like Kyoko isn't here. Oh, she said she'd come by later. Later? Yeah, after you leave. <laughs> She's not even trying to hide it anymore. I know I said she wanted you to show some backbone, but you didn't need to show her that much. You're dirty, Makoto. Dirty. President dirty of Dreadlandia. You don't understand. You're the type who takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? 
I'm telling you, it's not like that. J just shut up already, Hina. You've been running your filthy mouth like that all morning. Filthy? Me? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm not filthy. It's no use denying it. We can all see how disgusting you are. Sh shut up. You and that lusty body of yours. Night after night, you gotta go out for your illicit club meetings. Hey, knock it off. I can't deal with dirty stuff like that. Your midnight sex trick... Cur curricular activities only put us in even more danger. Stop it. You'd like me to stop, wouldn't you? Your sweaty hands gripping the big fat jaw tight. Going for all that extra credit. Your screams are like the screech of a violated blackboard. And, and, ah, it's amazing. Indecent ideas are coming to me, one after another. So, would you rather have your black eye on the left or the right? Hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's leave Toko alone. She's got a little funny from all her pent up frustration. Anyway, you and Kyoko need to make up already, you know? Yeah, so both suggestive and cringy is a good description for that. Yeah, I fear for Sakura. Even though I know Sakura is the spy. But she did say to Monokuma that she wouldn't do it anymore, but I guess Monokuma would have killed her if that had worked. I, yeah, I know. I mean, of course I want things to get better as soon as possible, but with everything that's been going on, I haven't had a chance to talk, about her, to talk to her about what I saw. Before anything, I need to talk to Sakura about it. Oh, that's not a good idea, boy. Not a good idea. Meeting Sakura alone at night to tell her she is a traitor doesn't sound very smart. Um, Sakura, what is it? Can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. Ah, now that Kyoko's dumped him, Makoto's trying to win Sakura's heart. Are you in heat, Makoto? Don't care who they are as long as they've got the right equipment. Watch out, Sakura! Makoto's transformed into a wild beast! Prime Minister Wild Beast of Beastopia! Why is this happening to me? Can I talk? Wait till tomorrow? I'd like to get some rest today. For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Are you sick? Did you get hurt? No, nothing serious. I've just had some minor aches and pains. Has that... Must be because of that battle. But it must be pretty bad if you have to go rest. Are you sure you're okay? I'm sure a protein shake and some sleep will get me back on my feet. That's true. Protein is good for all kinds of stuff. You guys like worship protein. It's like you got or something. Makoto, I don't know what it is you want to talk to Sakura about, but save it till tomorrow. She's in pain. Yeah, I got it. Well, for now, let's eat. Eat? I'm kind of nervous. How come? Because I don't usually eat in front of other people. Ever since I was a kid, I'd eat by myself. What about your family? Oh, well, yeah, I used to live with my dad, my mom, and my mom. You had two moms? What? That's just how things swear. That's like a serious issue. Just let it go. You're asking for trouble getting involved with her more than you have to. How dare you speak to me with that d disgusting mouth of yours? Stop saying stuff like that. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. If I, if I don't, Kyoko will never show up. Pretty miserable situation, man. Yeah, the double mom? Is it like... Is it like double mom and her father doesn't live with them anymore? It's also weird because Toko made like a um, homophobic uh, quote in the earlier chapters, I remember. I scarfed down breakfast as fast as I could and immediately headed back to my room. Or maybe that is the reason she made that comment. I'll have to wait till tomorrow to confront Sakura about what I saw, but in a way I'm kind of relieved. It takes a lot of courage to stand face to face with Sakura and accuse her of something. 
Yeah, I don't know why you thought that would be a good idea. Alright, who are we gonna spend time with? Um... Byakuya, maybe? We spend time with Byakuya once. We did get a skill from him, so maybe not yet. What about him? Did he give us a skill? He did. She's not gonna, like, uh, Kyoko's not gonna spend time with us right now. Uh, we didn't get a skill from Hina yet, so let's let's spend some time with Hina. Toka? We already spent like we already spent spent a lot of time with Toko though. And we got her ability too, so I don't think there's any benefit here. We got her skill, we got SP. I I, I assume everyone has just one skill. Maybe not, but I, I think so. Toko is bad? I mean, it would be fun if we could spend time with uh, Genocide Jill, but I think it's just gonna be Toko. Hina it is. Also, I think Hina is gonna be gone soon, so... I actually don't think that Toko is next. I think Hina is gonna murder someone. Probably Sakura. Poor Sakura. I think Hina kills Toko, and I think Hina kills Sakura. I mean, if Sakura is outed as spy, it would make sense for Sakura to die. Wait. I haven't actually checked where... Uh... Okay, Sakura... Where is everyone? Okay, here. Okay, Hina is here in the music room. But apes... Then Toko would still not die. <laughs> you have bad on Toko. Pushing him doesn't help smacking him, doesn't help. What the heck is up with those things? Oh, sorry, I'm talking about the metal plates covering all the windows. Ah, I know, we should try grabbing the top and yanking down at it. You, got it. you wanna do some stretches with me? I followed Hina's lead and did some elaborate stretching. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Sure. Uh... I guess she could like mineral water too. Hmm. A pair of boxing gloves infused with a staggering amount of passion and effort. Wearing them makes you want to throw a thousand cross counters. That could be something for her. We already uh, gave her that. Tumbleweed. <laughs> Main question, who are you playing to kill to break free? <laughs> uh, hmm. I, I feel like that's not gonna be up to me. 
Ha ha ha. This one could be for her. I don't know. Maybe she likes uh It's actually really tricky. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, we're gonna go with the gloves. What if I tell you could kill anybody since chapter one? I wouldn't believe you, King Snaker. Thanks, I'm super stoked. Does that mean she liked it? Okay. I know she loved the bath suit. Is something wrong, Hina? I've reached my limit. I'm stuck in here, can't do any sports, can't do anything, I'm sick of it. I wanna get out in the sun and do some laps, run a marathon, I wanna do some real sports. Hina, calm down, okay? I can't do anything in here, if I can't move around I'm gonna die like a bunny rabbit. But I always heard rabbits die from loneliness. Whatever, I'm gonna die if I can't get some proper physical activity. Don't you think that's a little extreme? You think I'm kidding, don't you? But I seriously can't sit still, you know? Why else would I have joined six sports teams in school? Six? Yeah, track, basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. The big one? She got, got to her main sports but ran out of juice. I think it's gotta be swimming. Your main sport is swimming, right? Yeah, you got it. God, I don't even care what stroke it is. Just get me in a pool under the blue sky. But isn't it hard to do that many sports even for you? If I can't move, I'll just shrivel up and die. And I need a challenge, more and more new stuff to try, a challenge. What I really love about sports isn't winning, you know? It's having to fight and struggle and give it all you got to reach the top. It's that excitement, that fear that you might suffer a heartbreaking loss. When you finally reach that goal, it's just lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know? I really, never really got into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she was talking about, but I could tell that the reason Hina was so amazing was how hard she could fight and struggle. So that's why I want to push myself as hard as possible when it comes to swimming. Sayaka had put... Yeah, no. Sayaka, Sayaka was so fake from moment number one, Apes. Like, I called her out, like, the first second she spoke to us. I want to aim for the very highest mountaintop. The highest mountaintop. I'm talking about the gold medal, of course. Aim for the gold, even if it means I'm a super gold spaz. To just call yourself... Okay, but if, if that's what you want, isn't that all the more reason? If you have a goal, why are you standing around making excuses? Excuses? Hey, when did I ever make any excuses? Sure, maybe we're stuck in here right now with no way out, but if you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you try to see what you can do in here? Th that's a challenge. You just made an official challenge. But I think you're right. If I want to get that gold medal, I have to make every effort I can. I want to become a genius of effort. I bet Ian Thorpe said something like that. Yeah, I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck in here. Alright, I think I'm gonna go do some push-ups in my room. Like maybe around a thousand or something. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of the hell. She recovered exactly as fast and strong as I would have expected. Thank you, Apes, for the information. I had no idea who Ian Thorpes is. Maybe he never died a scary movie first death. Someone stabs her in her breast and bled. <laughs> Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. <clears throat> I 
I have plenty of time. I don't feel like just sitting here. I should go somewhere. She still hasn't given us a skill, so I think it's gonna be Hina again. Wanna get all the skills I still still can. Yeah, it's her again. <clears throat> we already got a skill from Toko Apes. It's more important to grab skills of people that di didn't give us skills yet. And that we can still talk to. <clears throat> each and every person has to do their job. The cooperation of each player is true teamwork. That's a quote from the famous rugby player Yuji Mitsuo. We gotta do some th the same thing. Cooperate so we can survive. Yeah. You wanna go for a run to relieve some of the stress? Hina and I went for a little for a light run through the school. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Okay. Hmm. That was for Celeste. Wait, she likes fish and she likes donuts. Hey, Barry! A beautiful evening to you! Ella to, Ella to the both of you, Ella. <laughs> How are you? <gasps> we have a donut! Oh yeah. What? I can keep this, right? Right? Yay! Ultra stoked! Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Uh, hey Makoto. I'm so tired. Yeah, you look pretty tired. What happened? I woke up earlier than normal this morning, so I decided to do a push-up, sit-up, squat set. I ended up doing a thousand of each. Well, that would explain it. Tired. So tired. I want something sweet. I want those things you get when you mix flour, sugar, butter and eggs, then deep fry them. Oh, I know, you want some donuts, don't you? I just... <laughs> I just gifted her a donut. <coughs> How's your old quarantines going? Well, more streams. <laughs> That's how it's going. Fish flavored donuts? That sounds very weird. I mean, they're exaggerating big time with the amount of push-ups she's doing, friends. Don't tell anyone, but there's actually a bunch of frozen donuts in the warehouse. Throw those in the microwave for a few seconds and just imagine. Imagine the warm chewiness of that donut. You know what I'm saying, right? You'd eat the crap out of that, right? You really do love donuts, huh? Is there anyone who doesn't? Who on earth know who in the whole universe can say they hate donuts? Think about the sensation of biting into a donut. First the sweetness floods your mouth, then the soft duff cushions you. Next you get that hint of egg and butter, right? Your whole body starts to melt. You feel like you're falling into the center of the donut itself. When people talk about the donut effective, that's what they're talking about. That's absolutely not true. I can't take it anymore. I'm drooling like Niagara Falls over here. Get out of my way, Makoto, or I got an uppercut with your name on it. I'm not in the way. Wait for me, god of donuts. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. Whenever I'm around her, I feel like I'm soaking in the essence of human vitality. Damn, still no skill? Oh, no sun for you? Can't you go out at all? 
I'm still out uh, a lot. Like the weather right now is pretty nice, though it has gotten a little bit colder. But uh, sun is shining every day, so I like to sit a little bit on my terrace and take it in. After I watched her run off, I went back to my room. Our new motive is coming up. We made a special announcement to ask us to come to the gym. I sound pretty serious about it too. Oh, and probably Chihiro is dead. Again. Another word for terrace is beer garden. Uh, no, a beer garden is like not every terrace is a beer garden, apes. Monokuma died. Uh, I don't think so. Everyone must have heard the announcement, and once we were all gathered at the gym, it began. Thank you, Panda. Do you mean about the beer garden, Barry? With my attitude, it's not always a beer garden. Damn, shots fired. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Sam is shutting down all the jokes. <laughs> jokes are quarantine too, that is right. I don't know, it's just, you know... I mean, I get, I get what you're saying and you're kind of right, but then at the same time, like, I like, I like, you know, that my terrace, the garden, is a quiet space where I just by myself drink beer or wine. And a beer garden, you know, is like many, many people drinking beer, which is nice too, but I appreciate my garden for being the calm space just for myself. Enough beers can turn any place into a party, I suppose. Yeah, that is true, definitely. Germans drink wine? Oh yeah, of course. We even like, there is even German wine, Kingsnaker. Germans even uh, make wine. It's not, it, I guess it's not the most renowned wine around the world. <laughs> but we do have some decent wine. You were joking? Okay. Right, Barry? Yeah. I don't know. I'm like... I, I, I like to say I'm introverted and extroverted at the same time. Like I, I, need, I need a lot of space to myself and I really enjoy being alone sometimes. But at the same time I talk a lot and I, I'm, I can easy get into conversations with people and I enjoy that too. But still at the end of the day I like just, you know, I like my time to myself. Uh, and I need that a lot. Like, I can also get actually really irritated if I'm for too long around too many people. Yeah, yeah, Panda. It is decent wine, definitely. But I'm not sure if it's, like, well-known around the world. You know what I mean? You're about to give us your next motive presentation, aren't you? You got us all together to present another motive, right? I is he right? We have to go through this again? No, not again. I can't take it anymore. I am pressed by a level of dismay. You finally see just how low on the totem pole of life you really are. No, 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 no. That's not it at all. We're not here to talk about motive. Yeah, I think he crushed Jiro. The reason I gathered you all is here so that I could get rid of my grudge. Your grudge? 
We have a grudge against you, of course, but I don't recall you ever having a grudge against us. I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Stop beating around the bush. Just tell us what you're talking about. Well, Byakuya, you've already told everyone how one of you might be working as a spy for me, right? Yeah, so what about it? Well, today I'd like you to tell you about that spy. What? So guess what? The spy is actually Sakura Ogami. He said it so openly it made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal, even though it just revealed a huge secret. What did you just say? He said the spy is Sakura. What are you talking about? There's, there's no way Sakura's a spy. Right, Sakura? Sakura? And I might just make Sakura fulfill the promise she made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen to that hostage of mine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys choose to do with that information is up to you. Roast her, boy her, kill her, don't kill her, whatever. Puh. Either way, I can't wait. And just like that, he was gone. Finally understood what he had been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang, in other words. Betrayal would be met with betrayal. Um, so what does this mean? Is it true? Has Ogre really been spying on us for the mastermind? What are you saying? There's no way. But that is what the stuffed animal said, right? Well, he's wrong. There's just no way. Well, Sakura, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. What? Then he was being serious? For serious? Ogre has been working for the mastermind? I'm sorry. So you've been lying to us all this time. It's not true. Sakura was probably being controlled. There's gotta be some, some reason. She didn't have a choice. She was just forced to do it. Yeah, I'm sure Hina's right. The mastermind probably threatened her somehow and Sakura had no choice but to do what she was told. What are you talking about? You're talking like you know that for a fact. Because I do know it for a fact. Because I saw it. I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting. And that's why I heard it. Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during the fight I heard Sakura say she decided to fight against the mastermind. You saw all that. The mastermind took a hostage so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end you made up your mind to betray the mastermind. Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who we can trust without question, is that it? Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of altered reality fairy tale? She was the mastermind's tool. You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. Impossible. He's right. We can't just believe whatever she says now. How can we even be sure she really did betray the mastermind? Maybe this is a double bluff and she's still doing exactly what the mastermind wants. Sakura would never do that. Okay then, Sakura. If you really hate to have cut ties with the mastermind, tell us who they really are. Well, sorry, can't. Even I don't know that. You don't know. That just makes you all the more suspicious. She's telling the truth. You have to believe her. Shut up. I'm not finished questioning her. Next question. What's this about a promise? What did the mastermind order you to do? I was told to kill one of my friends. It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped to 20 degrees. The weight of those words. I see. So even now you've taken aim on our lives. You're wrong, I'm telling you, Sakura would never do that. You, you don't have to yell, we can hear you just fine. Don't you have an inside voice? It's because you're not listening to me. Please stop, you don't need to defend me anymore. I have to take full responsibility for this. How do you intend to do that? By destroying the mastermind. What? I'm going to challenge them, even if it means we both go down, I will defeat them. That is how I intend to take responsibility. Well, hold on, what do you mean if you go b both go down? Hina, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. Okay, I don't think Hina is gonna kill Sakura. I still think Hina is gonna be a murderer though. What? I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and again. But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. Sakura. I'm sorry. Sakura turned away from us and left the gym. And then... Sakura! Barry! 
Yeah, enjoy Final Fantasy. Thank you for tuning in. It's a very consuming game. <laughs> Have a beautiful evening. Mm, ahem. Oh, yeah. It is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall. Okay, then. Well, it's nighttime. We should all go to bed. Hold on, this whole thing with Sakura is over. She's our enemy. There's nothing more to discuss. No, Sakura is not our enemy. Why doesn't anyone understand her? Why is it you think you understand? You didn't even know who she really was. Let it go for now, Hino. Talking about it isn't going to help anything. But go to your room, cool down, and we can continue this discussion tomorrow. It was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the worst. Being in such an awful mood, we were honestly glad the day was over. Sakura is the spy. She's the traitor. Byakuya said Sakura is the enemy, but he's wrong. She's not my enemy. She's my friend without a doubt. But what can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? How? As long as you're human, human, there will always come a point where you wish you could do things differently. Even a baseball player in the major leagues, even a soccer player in touring Europe, even a famous singer who started her career as a backup dancer on a sketch comedy show. She makes a brilliant debut, but instead of going for more, she marries some third-rate actor and retires. Every human has regrets, has things they'd like to go back and change. But I don't, cause I'm a bear. I'm worried about Sakura. I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. It's always my reflex to go onto the map, but I don't have to. But I should save again. Rise and shine. Is Kyoko gonna talk to us? Kyoko, good morning. Nope. Still ignoring me. Is she really that mad at me? But actually, it's not just Kyoko. Ever since Monokuma summoned us last night, the atmosphere around here has gotten really heavy. I can almost feel looming over us, weighing us down. Well, if nothing else, I need to patch things up with Kyoko as soon as possible. Makoto, are you okay? Huh? What do you mean? You were late, so we were worried about you. What a dullard. Toko, Byakyo, what are you doing here? They are taking refuge here. Refuge? Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. The Mastermind's? Are you talking about Sakura? That's when I finally noticed the only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Where is Sakura? All I know is if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was a safeguard against that threat. Threat? Why do you hate her so much? Isn't it obvious because this makes things unfair? Unfair. The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets that balance. That's a stupid reason. Stupid? This is a life or death game, is it not? It is stupid! You're a stupid idiot! Before you get too far into your argument, maybe you should stop and think things through. Why did the mastermind reveal that Sakura was the spy to us? The they were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye. That may be, the part of it, may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the mastermind wanted to give us. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion, the hatred. In other words, this right here, the fighting, the bickering, is the trap the mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, will you still stand there and argue like children? That's not what I'm trying to do, it's just... 
I mean, how can I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? She really, if she really can't, can beat the mastermind like she said, that would go a long way in my mind. Idiot! You'd really ask her to do something so dangerous? What if something terrible happens to her? It wouldn't matter. What? If Sakura were to die, that's one less person for the mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Hold on, Byakuya. In fact, if she did die, what would settle this anti that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? It would put the whole problem to rest. I should have died? Interesting. Then are you planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead, try it if you dare. That's how it works here after all. You think I can't do it? Hina, calm down. This is exactly what the mastermind wants and it's exactly what Sakura doesn't want. What's wrong? Lost your nerve? I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Traveling with anger, Hina ran off. That stupid cow, how dare she? She should die a thousand deaths, no a million. So she was just another hysterical little girl, hardly worth my attention. It's what other people call having feelings, Byakuya, and all you can do is mock them for it. What's wrong with that? A friendly word of warning. Someday that attitude is going to come back and bite you, heart. And I will happily elude its attempts. Some you know? How about we uh, eat? Um, maybe now's not a good time. <laughs> Without a word, each of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms one by one. Yeah, things are getting heated. Phew. So what should I do today? Uh, it's gonna be Hina again. I want her skill. I'm just checking again. SP, SP, yeah. Give me your skill, Hina. She's in the music room again. Isn't Byakuya Toku's boy to uh, toy type to kill? Nah, Genocide Jill was like, I mean, she was killing men, but she, like, it's hard to say actually, because she said she would kill all the ugly boys and surround herself with only pretty boys, so that only pretty boys are left. That's what Genocide Jill said. But who knows what's pretty in her mind and what's ugly in her mind. Yeah, she is a man-eater, but like she was like, uh, she, oh, she would kill all the ugly man, men and keep pretty boys around. Um, Makoto, did you want something? About that. Were you worried about me? That's nice of you. Hina was quiet and depressed, but I did what I could for her. <coughs> okay. <sighs> what to give to her? What about a croissant? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh. Hmm. really tricky actually I feel like we don't have much good for her I feel like this is going too far
Sammy, would you please deliver this one bit for Panda for me? How am I supposed to deliver it? <laughs> uh, well, thank you for the bit, Apes. I guess I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> Use your imagination. I'm imagining it sitting pretty nice in the jar right now. <laughs> Brute. <laughs> What's that one? Mm. I have no idea. Oh. No idea what to give to her. No refunds. <laughs> uh, hmm. That wasn't a friendship bracelet. That was like the eternal bracelet. The everlasting bracelet. It's not exactly a friendship bracelet, I think. It will never come off again. Uh, what about the Hope's Peak Ring? Engagement Ring. Okay, I'm gonna give her the Hope's Peak Ring. For me? Thanks, Miku. This makes me feel a little better. Yeah. Was I able to cheer her up a little? I don't know. Is this worse then? Does that mean she like it? I'm not sure. No, the blueberry perfume is for men. Yeah, and the blueberry perfume is for men, it says in the description. Wow, the present was so bad that we didn't get anything? Or is there just nothing to gain after? What? Maybe there's just nothing after four. Maybe it's just four for everyone. Sakura. I uh, probably can't spend time with Sakura right now, though. The orange. There you go, my lady apes. For the bit. I appreciate the thought, but I'd like to be alone right now. I need time to myself. I need to think. Although that's one skill I haven't developed too much. <laughs> wow. So humble. Uh, okay, then I guess no Sakura. Uh, I feel like 
I still feel like we would have gotten a skill maybe with a better present. I don't know. Though we only gave shit presents to uh, Kyoko and still got an ability. Sakura unfortunately doesn't spend time with us. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Rumkugelnton, Rumkugeln. Rumkugeln to Rumkugeln. Yes. Thank you very much for the bit. It's not all, there are more than four pages. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. Then I shall go with Hina again. Listen, I'm really sorry, but I kind of want to be alone right now. I f okay. Oh, what about Hero? No, we got a, a Billy by from Hero, right? Yeah, it's not the present actually, King Snaker, because we only gave shit presents to Kyoko and it didn't matter. Ah, what about Hero? Yeah, we got a skill from him. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna spend time with Toko. It's okay. It's okay, apes. We are gonna spend time with Toko. Almost didn't see her. It's not like that. Imagine you two points for the first page. You have bad presents, zero points, yeah. Hey, it's a beautiful evening to you. You got good presents, you have two points. You give best present, you get four points. Oh, so you mean if I gave a good present, I can afterwards not give a good present and still get the reward. I love it, Heath. I love it. So, yeah, my present was actually not good enough. And that's why I didn't get a page. No? Okay, but I thought I only gave trash presents to Kyoko. And still I got a page every time. I mean, it was also four pages. Okay, so yeah. But we, ne we didn't get, like, it's also only four pages. We don't have a fifth page on Kyoko. Nice Heath. I'm always happy to present a game to you that you already know and love. <laughs> How are you doing with all the COVID situation? When are we ever gonna get out of here? Not that I'd have that much to look forward to if I did get out. Sure. What? More pity? Aren't you such a good person showing me all this pity? I spent some time with Toko. <laughs> Toko and I grew a little closer today. I will never get over this. I, I want to give her the pen. We have that pen. There. Sorry, but I'm already e engaged to Master, so I can't go on a date with you. If you're okay with that, I don't mind if you think about me. Seeing Plo Toko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Hey, I want to talk to you. Now oh, that's strange. Toko never wants to talk to me. I thought she hated my guts. Are you listening to me? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm listening. 
I just wanted to clear something up. I mean, I have to clear it up. What I said before, I don't want you to get the wrong idea, okay? What did you say? About not having any love in real life. I don't want you thinking I don't have any experience a at all. Even someone like me has gone on a date. Oh. It's true, I'm not lying. I'll tell you all about it if you really want to hear. No, it's okay. I was in junior high, and out of nowhere this guy from another class just asked me out. Okay, guess I'm hearing it anyway. He asked me to make plans for the date. I stayed up all night for three days planning it. And what I came up with was, it was our first date, so I wanted to do something tr traditional. I decided on going to see something. What was it? Are you stupid? We're talking traditional date stuff? What do you think it was? A traditional day, you go to see something. What else could it be but... A movie? Though the correct word would be watch, but... Uh, hmm. Good, I guess I have Overhausen, so I have the whole month free. Oh, damn, Heath. That's nice, I guess, but also not nice, because it's like... You can't spend the free time as freely. Nice. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII Remake is actually... Wait, can you see it, chat? Wait, I need to move out of the way. It's laying on the table over there. Can you see it? It's ready. It's waiting. I can't see anything on our quality is too poor. There's nothing there. <laughs> oh chat, and here? Do you see there? That's Persona 5 Royal. <laughs> oh. I know the feeling I had to wait with Final Fantasy VII too because of Persona. Well, yeah, I, I actually, I actually, in, in all honesty, I don't have Persona 5 Royal Edition. I don't feel like playing it again yet. I mean, I played Persona 5 rather late anyways, right? So it still feels fresh to a degree to me. I feel like, uh, I feel like it wouldn't give me that much right now. I would still enjoy it, but it's also a very long stream project that's, that comes that adds to it. How did you like uh, Persona 5 Royal Edition, by the way? Is it worth the money? Okay, we're gonna go with the movie. You plan to go see a movie? Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? She planned for three days to go watch a movie. <laughs> you go watch it, then afterward talk about it all passionately. In other words, it, it's ideal first date material. <laughs> okay, Makoto has some brains. You stayed up for three days and that's what you came up with? Next, I had to decide what to go see. Since we were in junior high, we couldn't go see some kids movie, right? I wanted something really action-packed. Yeah, yeah, a guy would definitely like that kind of thing. It could get you both pumped up. So, we decided to check out the Seijin Suzuki triple feature. Tokyo Drifter fighting Elegy and Branded to Kill. Uh, irresistible for any guy, right? It sounds pretty brutal. Also three movies in a row? Um, and those are all... Y you don't know who Seijin Suzuki is? He is world famous for his one-of-a-kind aesthetic, his unique blending of color. Sorry. The killer's the main character, and he gets riled up by the smell of cooking rice, a murder masterpiece. Honestly, I think there's probably not a lot of guys my age who have any idea who he is. Mm -hmm. You're right. I learned that fact the hard way. He must have hated it, cause he disappeared right in the middle of the first movie. What? He just left? And after you'd put all the effort into planning everything out? That's awful. Well, it is what it is. Besides, I found out it, it, it was just a dare anyway. A dare? Yeah, he lost a bet with his friends, so he had to go out on a date with me. And there I was, spending three days to come with something for us to do. This is all your fault. You may remember that terrible trauma. My fault? 
Do you like humiliating me that much? Is that how you get your kicks? I've finally seen the real you. No, I... I can't be around you and your perverted fetish anymore. I'm leaving. Eyes burning with hatred took glared at me before stomping off. Okay, seriously, now she's gotta hate me. They changed a lot, but I guess if I were you, I would still would rather start with Final Fantasy VII because that is new for you. Yeah. You ever seen a toucan? Uh, not real, like, not actually next to me, no. I've seen it obviously in videos and stuff, but no. I mean, also, like, toucans don't really exist over here. I mean, I guess I might have seen a toucan maybe in a zoo at some point. I don't remember. I can re recommend it even if you already played the normal version. The changes are good and you will notice them. But it is a little bit easier for you, I guess. It's, a, it's it's even easier than the original game? Wait, is 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 the new version easier than the than the original version was, Heath? I played the original on the hardest difficulty, not the one you download, but the hardest that was packed with it. And then I did uh, started afterwards a new game with the one you could download, but the one you could download was actually easier than the hardest one that shipped with it, because you would deal more damage. <laughs> Enemies would also deal more damage to you, but it wouldn't matter, because already in the hardest difficulty, when you they hit your weak spot, you're done. Oh, I see. That is sad, actually. I mean... I don't think I might it so much for Persona, since it is round-based and its battle system overall is... I mean, it's good, but it's rather simple, right? So it's not like a battle system where I, I thrive like from the biggest challenges. So I don't mind as much for that kind of game. <clears throat> I thought ways with Toko and went back to my room. <laughs> Prince. <laughs> As such, it is officially nighttime. Yeah, the battle system is just a classical good round based battle system. I, I like it. It's not like a, it's, it's bad. But uh, I always feel like that the challenge in these kind of battle systems is limited in a way, right? Because I mean, it comes down to understanding like stuff like weaknesses and skills and efficiency, and that's it. While like if you have active battles, like real time battles, like in ease, it really comes down to improving on your skill, your reflexes, on handling the controls. All that doesn't m matter in round based combat. There are very detailed round based combat systems out there that have lots of strategy. Don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, it's not so much a mechanical skill you're improving. It's just knowledge based and that's it. Yeah, Prince. Uh, yeah, definitely. Like, that's also why even the hardest difficulty in Persona 5 didn't feel so hard, because basically all it forces you to do is exploit the enemy's weakness. I mean, they, they, the, the, the weird thing is in Persona, they, the damage, um, they multi multiplied the damage for the difficulties, but to both sides. Meaning, when you play on hard, you take more damage, but you deal also more damage. 
Um, and that is also why the downloadable difficulty was even easier. <laughs> because you dealt even more damage hitting weak spots. And if the, if you, the enemy gets to hit you on your weak spot, you're, you're dead anyways. Yeah, true, Heath. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't think it's a bad combat system. It is a good system, but it's still a simple system. And we've seen your puzzle skills, Sami. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on. I was very bad at the start in Catherine, but I, I adjusted, all right? I think at the end I did fine. I was just not used to that kind of puzzle style. <clears throat> but yeah, um, no, what, what's more outstanding about Persona 5, I mean, I'm one of the people anyways saying the palaces are kind of the weakest part of Persona, right? <laughs> Like, there are some pal some of the palaces were actually pretty nice in Persona 5. Like, I really liked uh, Futaba's palace. Like, in comparison to the other palaces. But in general, the palaces are the weak component of the game. Uh, they still need to exist because they give the game its variety in gameplay. Um, but if you think about it, what really is unique about Persona is the story, the characters, the, the daily life you get to live and develop these uh, relationships and go work, make money, like kind of this like school sim mix with a story. Uh, so yeah, the palaces are kind of the weakest part, have always been. Yeah, and that's also a thing. Like the dungeons, the palaces, they don't look very good. Like they look very bad, in fact. Like, it, I, I actually, like, I'm actually, I was shocked when I played Persona 5 how the palaces still look so trash. Like, no decoration whatsoever. It's not even about the graphics. It's about, like, Okay, the graphics can be trash, but at least like put a little bit more effort into decoration. Persona harem game? It is a harem game a little bit, yeah. You think they were nice in Persona 5? Really? I was disappointed. No, no controller game. I was disappointed, to be honest, because, you know, I, I remembered Persona 4, I remembered that also there, I noticed how the palaces, like, considering the great art style of the game, the palaces looked kind of weak. And Persona 5 was released, I think, 2016 over here. So I was kind of disappointed that they still looked so garbage. At least not every dungeon was like mementos. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying like, it's not about like, I'm really just saying like, make them a little bit, like add a little bit of decoration, a little bit of, you know, flavor to them. I'm not talking about textures. And, you know, I'm just talking about details in design, not details in textures. Did you forget how great Kamoshida looks? <laughs> oh, no, well. Well, well, well. Okay, let's move on here. Nighttime already. Tonight felt somehow uneasy. We still haven't settled things with Sakura. Everyone in a terrible mood. I just hope nothing happens tonight. After I declined the offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she came back suggesting I should become a crab instead. How much can one person love crustacines? I said no, of course, and she shot back. Okay, then how about to make you, you extra special you can be a crab that walks sideways and backwards? But how's that any better? I don't want to go sideways or backwards, I want to go forward. 
I heard her annoyed sigh on the other end of the line, then she said, You just don't see the splendor of the crab. Haven't you ever heard of the tale of the crab and the monkey? Of course I've heard of it. I know all about it, but so what? The crab beats the monkey, but it's just some legend, hardly relevant to our greed-obsessed modern society. Sure, monkeys still show up in movies and stuff from time to time, but not crabs. Monkey-themed clothes are sweeping the fashion world, but the crab doesn't stand a chance, right? What I'm saying is, crabs have no place in today's light-speed world. Do your market research, lady. Which is why it shows the always popular bear image. And that's the origin story of Monokuma! Alright, Panda. I think something's gonna happen today. Like, we had our four free times. Good morning, everyone. Get ready. I need to do something about Sakura. I'd better go to the dining hall and talk to the others about it one more time. Huh? Was that someone screaming? I think it came from the dining hall. <laughs> Makoto, we got a big problem, man. What's wrong? Look! Here his finger shook as he pointed. But Tina seems pretty alive. No, 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 she's not dead. Open your eyes. No way she's dead. What happened? Well, Toko and Tina just all of a sudden they were yelling and then they knocked the pepper off the table. And that led to a sneeze. Her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I might be flat, but at least mine are real. And look at my shapely collarbone. Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? Anyway, you're totally not adorable boys. Just get her out of my sight, okay, or else I'll start cutting and cutting and cutting and indulging myself who knows for who knows how long. Uh, okay, then. Let's get Hina to the nurse's office. Come on, Hero, help me. Sure thing. <laughs> the breast implant attack. Jusei Jack's abrasive laugh chases us out of the room as we carry Tina away. By the time I've finished taking care of Hina's injury, oh, injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Thank you. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah, it really was just a scratch. But still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know? Yes, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. So sarcastic. That just makes you sound even more hostile. Hey, he hey, Hina, what the heck happened? Uh, we just got into a fight and I lost my temper and flew off the handle. Let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura. At first I tried to just ignore it. If you let jerk battles get to you all the time, you'll never have time left to live your life. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just... Without thinking about it, I felt like I wanted to punch her like a dozen times. A dozen punches isn't really without thinking. And when things got out of hand... And when things got out of hand, Genocide Jack got let loose, right? It's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore. Because... Because... Because she was saying all these terrible things about my friend, you know? Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started swelling up with tears. And just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the door to the nurse's office burst open. I thought the door was gonna fly off its hinge, and there she stood before us. Sakura! You heard what happened. Nothing, it's not a big deal. Makoto Hiro, what's the meaning of this? It wasn't me, it was genocide, Jill. It's all that demented murderous fiend's fault. To her, Tina, damn you, to leave me alone but hurt her. What is this? What is this? <laughs> I'm okay, really. It's just a scratch. No forgiveness. I can't forgive this. 
hero. If you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. I don't hate you exactly. Somebody save me. Hero nearly tripped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office. But just a second later... Hey. What's all this noise about? Kyoko stood in the doorway of the nurse's office taking Hero's spot in the room. I got that something happened. K Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything. I just... I'm drawing a light line right here now. Drawing a line? Good boy. Oh, wait, Sakura! Hina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. The only ones left were... Um, Kyoko? Are you still mad? Yeah, I figured. Huh? About that issue we discussed earlier, it doesn't matter anymore. Then, do you forgive me for not being able to talk about it? You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. You were only thinking of Sakura and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's what you were thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah. To think like that. I wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. What? Because ultimately that means you don't trust me. No, that's not it. If that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind, I'm sorry. It's fine, I've already forgotten about it. Besides, I might have overreacted. Huh? Anyway, it's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Okay, thank you. That issue we discussed doesn't matter anymore. I want to talk to you about something else. What is it you wanted to talk to me about? Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, but... Well then, shall we get going? With her typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. Kyoko! I hurried to catch up to her. She walked ahead in silence, and in silence I chased her, and eventually we arrived. The dressing room. So the something else you mentioned. Indeed. That's right, it has to do with alter ego. But he said we didn't need alter ego anymore. I didn't say we didn't need him, I just said he had done his job. Besides, not us that needs alter ego. He has business with us. Huh? Right. Alter ego asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently he has something he wants to ask us. I'll think of us to ask us something? Um. Hello. Oh, um, so it's just the two of you? Kyoko and Makoto? He's... Apes has been betting on Toko since the very first murder. <laughs> At this point, Apes is just being stubborn. <laughs> Because you know eventually she should be right. <laughs> and I mean, to be fair, it looked pretty good when uh, Toko, you know, came out to be genocide Jill. Not in that case, like I said from the beginning, even though... Like, it would be too obvious for her to have actually done it, so... She was clear, but, like, we still kind of assumed she should die soon after because they can't have a serial killer with them. But... <laughs> Apparently they can! Kyo's, Kyoko's finger glided across the keyboard. Is two not enough? No, it's okay. Two should be plenty. But what is it he wants to ta ask us? Let's find out, shall we? Kyoko typed in the question. What did you want to ask us? No, um, oh, yeah, so... I'd like you to ma take me somewhere where you can connect me to the school network. What? what? Kyoko and I quickly glanced at each other. She replied. Why? Well, um, you said my job was done, right? But to just stop here, saying I finished my work. I don't want that. I want to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that we can all get out of here. That's what Master would want too. So, to help everyone else, to solve the mystery of the school, 
The only way I can help is if you connect me to the school's network. But if you did that, that's basically suicide. I'm positive the mastermind would find out about it. They'd find you and they'd... You agree, right, Kyoko? No. I realize how dangerous it could be. But still, I have to do this. I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but... When I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So, it's okay. If it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. I couldn't help but get lost in that voice. It was just too committed, too admirable, too fragile. You remember what you asked before, Makoto. You asked what the difference is between a person and a program, right? Yeah. When I talk to Alter Ego, I don't know. I have no idea how to answer that question. I think maybe that's a question even the program's creator can't answer. But I can say this. There's no question that Alter Ego is our friend. Kyoko. To be honest, I didn't want Alter Ego to push himself anymore. Because if we take any more risk, the mastermind really will notice it. Yeah, Heath, I was happy she lived too. Genocide Jill is definitely way cooler than Toko. <laughs> Toko seemed like a basic character. <laughs> you know who seems like a basic character? Hina does, and she's still around. I'm still mad that Hina is still around. Yesterday Solheim pointed out her thick plot armor. But I do think, I, I already said this earlier Heath, I do think Hina will be a murderer now. I will be mad if she's just a victim from now on onwards. No, no, no. Now that this like, you know, naive, nice, pretty big boob girl has survived until now, she ha there has to be like a twist of her being a murderer. Yeah, of course you will say nothing, and I appreciate that. Please, no spoilers. I can see why MC and what you two are bloodthirsty. <laughs> <laughs> like other streamers said, she has two big owies. <laughs> and so I'm a beautiful evening to you. Okay. Because if you take any more risks, the masterminds really will notice it. But, let's do it, Makoto. Let's connect Alter Ego to the network. But, he's our friend, so I want to take his feelings into consideration. I says that he wants to fight alongside his friends. If you were in his place, could you just sit by and do nothing in this situation? If you saw everyone else fighting and doing their best, could you just look the other way? Or would you stand up? Stand up tall next to everyone else and tell them you're their friend. Hey, are you guys fighting? If it's about me, please don't. I want to believe in myself. I want to be able to say, I know I can do this. So please let me try. Listen. And besides, there's one place where the master might, might not notice. One place. Right. Remember, there's another place besides here where there's no surveillance camera. The secret room, right? That's it, the secret room you told me about. I definitely remember there was no surveillance camera in there. And I do believe you can connect to the network from there. I remember seeing an ethernet port on the wall. However, However just because there's no camera there doesn't mean there's no danger. There's no way to be sure the mastermind isn't monitoring the network somehow. We'll also have to move all to Egon and the mastermind might spot us going into the secret room. If they pick up on any of this, then it's all over. You're right. But despite all that, I still think we need to try. Because that's our best chance of finding any new clues. Kyoko, in that case, will you let me carry him? There's no way you could hide him with what you're wearing, right? So let me do it. It's true. Okay then, I'll leave it to you. Thank you. So then. Now let's get started. It's gonna be a little cramped for you, Alter Ego. Bear with us, okay? You started packing him up right away. I closed the laptop and stuffed it underneath my jacket. <laughs> this is so cheesy and so silly. Ha ha ha, it tickles! No, it doesn't. Shh, you can't talk right now. We're going to move you to another room. Until we get there, you have to be absolutely silent, okay? 
Understood. Your command has been implemented. Good. Don't react like a machine like that all of a sudden. I didn't know how to react. In the secret room, there are a bunch of different cables in one of the desk drawers. So there might be a network cable in there. Assuming the mastermind hasn't taken it already. Well, all we can do is go and check for ourselves. Agreed. Let's head to the secret room. Did Sunny get the man's nut event? No. I don't think so. But somebody mentioned yesterday that if I had a item that we would have gotten like an additional scene in the bath. Uh, secret room. Was it the on the second floor or was it just this one over here? Just a second. Hey. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if we can just teleport there. It isn't? Oh, this is the third floor. No, wait. It's not. The item name was Spirit of Adventure and the event would be in Chapter 3. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, no, I don't have Spirit of Adventure. I was actually too lazy to pick up more items. Like, look at that, we have over 200 coins. We once used 100 to get some items and after that I was too lazy to get more. Hey. Are you sure all the documents are gone? I refuse to believe you. Go and check again. What? Just hurry up and go and to make sure you don't run off, I'm gonna wait right here. Oh, I get it, she's acting. She was so forceful, I thought I'd made her mad again somehow. Why are you just standing there? Hurry up and go. Oh, okay, I'm going. And be thorough. I'm counting on you. Okay, first we have to find a network cable. According to Kyoko, there should be a bunch of cable in this drawer. Hmm. Found. Wow, this is a network cable, right? Now we just have to connect Alter Ego. Immediately got to work. I pulled out the laptop and connected to the Ethernet port with a cable. And that should do it. Um, that yeah, I think it worked. Just leave the rest to me. I swear I'll find something. I might even be able to connect to the outside world. If I can, I'll see if I can call for help. So please just wait a little while longer. Just hold tight and put your faith in me. As I was about to leave, I decided to leave him with the one last thing. No matter what, we're gonna get you out of here, you and all the rest of us, as friends. Friends? Even me? Thank you. Thank you, Makoto. Chihiro is gonna get murdered twice. Oh yeah, sure he Post the image. How'd it go? Well... It went okay, but all um, the documents were gone, just like I told you. My reply was an unintentional mix of acting and real feelings. Let's see. Then there's nothing left for us here. Goodbye. Before I knew it, Coco was walking away. She wasn't acting anymore. That was much was sure for me. Was for sure. God damn it. Jeez, and Torco. Jeez. And they have alcohol? <laughs> oh, that image is awesome. 
<laughs> uh, Kyoko? Yes? Um, so we're just gonna split up? Of course, I have no reason to stay with you at this point. Well, maybe, but isn't that a little too direct? Should I hesitate and fumble for something to say? You're so high maintenance. That's not what I meant. I just had more I wanted to talk to you about. Like, what are you going to do about Sakura? Well, something has to be done, it's true. But the way things are right now, there's no way to persuade anyone. They don't have the mind to listen. Then what should be? If we can't find some new clue, that would likely change the situation. That's all we can hope for right now. Which is why, Alter Ego, all we can do is wait and believe in our friends. You're right, that's our only option. I powered base and I headed back to my room. I'm kinda tired, so I laid down in bed. Maybe it was because of the stress of moving Alter Ego, but I was way more tired than I realized, so before long at all... This is definitely what's happening to Toko. Oh! <laughs> yeah, oops. I'd completely dozed off. I think someone is gonna die very soon, apes. Might even happen right now. Huh. The sharp sound of the doorbell pierced my sleepy haze and pulled me back to the real world. Makoto, Makoto get out here. What's going on? He just came to see me and she was white as a ghost. It sounds like something's happened. What? As soon as I heard those words, my heart started to beat a little faster. I suddenly found myself wide awake. She said for us to come to the rec room. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, Apes is betting Toko. I, I need to make a bet too. Who's dead? Um, hmm... Hmm. I don't think it's Toko. You know why I don't think it's Toko, Apes? Because Hina, Toko... Wait, okay, wait. We have Hina, Toko, Kyoko as girls. Byakuya, Hiro, Makoto. Oh, Sakura. Oh, it's actually more girls than men at this point. Huh. So it is more likely for a girl to be dead. <sighs> you should not care much for gender. I know, I know, but I'm still taking it into cons consideration. Hmm. So I feel like it might be Hero, just because, you know, Hero doesn't seem to have much to offer, plot-wise. I mean, he could still make that big turnaround of like, you know, I thought maybe he was the spy, then he could have had like that big turnaround, but Hero doesn't have much to offer. I feel like it could be Hero. Or Sakura because she was um, outed as the spy. However, if she is not murdered, she makes a good suspect for the murder. So actually, I don't think it's Sakura because she is a good suspect. Because everybody will say she did it because she made that promise to Murakuma. So I feel like... Well, apes, actually, I feel like it's Sakura or to uh, No, no, I feel like it's Hiro or Toko. All right, she said for us to come to the rec room. The rec room? Okay, let's hurry. We're finding it out now. We're finding out now. I can't get the door open. Is it locked? Huh? 
Makoto, Kyoko. Hina, what's wrong? Something's not right in the rec room. What's inside? There was a window on the rec room door and I hurried to look inside and when I did... Oh. Damn, it is Sakura. Fuck. Damn! Oh. You know, at the start of the stream I said... Hina is gonna kill Sakura. Because Hina needs to be a murderer now and Sakura trusts her so big time that she would be an easy victim for Hina and Hina could have that big turnaround of being actually a super crazy bitch. Oh. Sakura. Is she unconscious? She's sitting up in the chair like she's bowing her head. I mean, we didn't get an announcement. So maybe she's not dead. What's going on? Did something happen to her? I was just walking past and I happened to notice her through the window. But I couldn't get the door open. I tried knocking, I tried calling her name, but she wouldn't respond. So what should we do? What are we gonna do? First of all, we need to get, need to get into that room. But the door is locked, right? And if we break in, we'll be violating school regulations. We're going to force our way in. I just said... The door isn't locked. It's not locked because the rec do uh, room door doesn't have a lock. Then why? It feels like the door is pressing up against something inside the room. Is it the chair? Chair. Either way, this door isn't locked, which means as far as I can tell, the rule doesn't apply. Then there's no problem if we break in? Let's smash the window. That should be the fastest way. Okay, I'll get something to break it with. Wait right here. Inside the rec room, Sakura still hadn't moved an inch. She's just unconscious, right? I mean, maybe the announcement only comes if you're actually in the room. Someone is lying dead on the other side of the door? God. Is she okay? I mean, Sakura, so I'm sure... Yoko didn't reply. There was only silence, but that silence didn't last long. Here, I found a broom. Use it. You can handle this, right, Makoto? Please. Come on, please hurry. Okay, you two, stand back. I took hold of the broom and swung as hard as I could, aiming directly at the window. All it took was one solid hit. The window shattered into a hundred pieces scattered as scattering across the rec room floor. I stuck my hand through the now open window and started jostling the chair leaning against the door. The chair's pretty heavy, but if I can just... I pushed on it with all my strength and finally the knob turned. Sakura. I ran up to her as fast as I could, but the moment I laid my hand on her... All I felt was cold death. I could feel only the last lingering warmth of a living body. Life had abandoned Sakura's body and then... Ding dong! Ding dong! Sakura! Sakura, our top waifu. She poisoned herself. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I said at the start of the stream that maybe Hina turns out to be that crazy bitch and killed Sakura. But honestly, at this point right now, I'm not really believing it. Ah, it's hard to say, man. Toko will be the right answer someday. Right. <laughs> oh, Ames, we should make a little we should make a little compilation of all your Toko bits. <laughs> Thank you so much, Apes. What wife is there left? Uh 
Toko Hina Kyoko. I heard Hina talking about my eyes stared steadily forward. I could only lo look on at Sarakura's dead body. We didn't make it in time. It's happened again. Muttering to herself, Kyoko began to gently inspect Sakura's body. I wondered was she confirming that Sakura really was dead, checking for a pulse or erection? I have to go get them. I have to go get the others. On shaky legs, Hina left the rec room. And I... Why? Why did this have to happen? That's all I could say. I repeated it over and over again. I need to examine Sakura's body. I just stood there motionless behind her while she checked Sakura's corpse. Time passed. While I stood there, unable to do a thing, time just passed. And after I don't know how long... I got everyone. Olga? Oh, yes. oh, so she's dead, huh? Sakura has been killed, I see. As soon as they arrived, Kyoko began. You heard the announcement just now, right? So you know what this means. Sakura was murdered, and by someone in this very room. Is that what you were going to say? No? Whoever killed her, it's not just someone in this room. It was one of you, Hiro, Byakuya, Toko. One of you killed Sakuya. Oh, she doesn't suspect us. What? You're accusing us before we've even begun the investigation? I don't need to investigate anything because you hated her. You hated the sight of her. One of you did it. I know it. You know it? Jeez, I didn't know your power level would increase by that much just by getting mad. What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious I'm here to hand out my little murder flyer? That's right, it's the next Murakuma file. And don't get so mad, Miss Asahime, or you're gonna ruin that lewd little face of yours. Now then, with that I... Hold on, there's something I want to ask you. Huh? It was you, wasn't it? You killed Sakura. Huh? Huh? Sakura wanted to challenge the mastermind to a duel. Maybe you and her fought again and then... Then I killed her? Sorry, not quite. Actually, not even close. That whole thing is totally irrelevant now. Sakura came to a most regrettable end without even getting the chance to finish things with me. Which, thank God for that, it saved me the trouble of having to go through with our little fight. Cause even for someone like me, it would have been no mean feat to take down a behemoth like that. I gotta tell you, I was actually pretty worried. I mean, she'd violated a rule by attacking me in the first place, but I wasn't able to punish her. So I don't know who it was, but whoever the blackened is this time, I owe you one. You owe them one? Oopsie, before you get all pissy potty at me, you better figure out who did it first. Cause I mean, your life's all on the line, right? There still hasn't been a death by the pool. I mean, there was a death in the locker room, which was technically by the pool. What the hell? He owes them one? I hate him. I hate this whole thing. Well, I for one am glad it was Sakura. She was working for the mastermind after all. How can you say that now? Sorry, I don't have time for your squabbling. The next game has already begun. If you want to be angry at someone, be angry at whoever killed Sakura. Right now, top priority needs to be uncovering Sakura's killer. If we can't do that, we're all dead. Then let society will stand guard this time. I'll do it! Hina. I'm okay, just let me handle it. Besides, I, I want to be here with Sakura. Okay then, Hina is guard number one, but we need one more. Kyoko, that's you. What? Me? You're always a thorn in my side. This time just stand by and watch quietly. Consider that an order. An order? That's fine. fine, I'll stay behind. That's it. Let's begin, shall we? Hold on. Before that, there's something I want to say. Which is... Hiro Byakuya Toko, none of you are allowed to st step foot in the crime scene. What? One of you killed Sakura. I won't let someone like that come anywhere near here. Don't be stupid, our lives are in just as much danger as yours. We have every right to investigate. I don't care what you say, I'm not letting the one who killed Sakura anywhere near her. Even if it means I have to use force, you're not getting in here. 
Well, the PS further discussion would be a waste of time. How about a compromise? I won't ask you to let all of us in, just let me. What? You don't really care, do you? You're both useless anyway. No, nope, don't really care. I'd rather spend my time coming up with another splendid fantasy involving Master anyway. And you hear it? Do you really object? If you're gonna go that far, what can I do? I mean, I don't have anything to hide, so why should I care? That is decided. Nothing's decided. I know I feel you know, but you should agree to this request. But, but we have to find out who killed Sakura. For those of us still alive and to honor Sakura's memory. Fine, I guess that's okay. But no matter what, Byakuya, you absolutely aren't allowed to touch her. Naturally, who would want to touch a filthy dead body? That's enough fighting. We need to focus on the investigation from here on out. Everyone, keep this in mind. If we can't uncover Sakura's killer, all of us face execution. Finding out who killed Sakura, it's not a matter of hoping we can do it. If we want to survive, we have to do it. It's a kind of hopeless hope. We have no choice but to just do it. Asami, I need to pee, mind pausing the stream. <laughs> <gasps> Dying a pool is so stereotypical. This game isn't like that. Sure, King Snaker, sure. <laughs> no stereotypes in this game, right? <laughs> mm. Actually, how late is it? I do have to work tomorrow, so we can't go for too long i'm 100 original yeah uh, i'd better check the monokuma file before anything else the victim was sakura ogami the time of death is estimated to be around 12 noon the body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school there's evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head no other injuries were noted however it seems that at some point the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood Monokuma file 4. Hey. I think the case this time might be a challenge. Why is that? So... The only way into the rec room is the door we just came through, and that door had been jammed shut with a chair from inside the rec room, which means the killer would have had to escape somehow after barring the door. So if the door was blocked from the inside and there was no way in or out till we broke the window, there's like zero escape, yeah. right? In other words, this is a classic locked room murder. Locked room murder? I guess you might see this kind of thing a lot in mystery movies or box or whatever, but could it really happen in real life and right before our very eyes like this? Are you curious to hear more about what a locked r room murder entails? Sure, if you don't mind. When you break down this kind of murder mystery, there are four basic types. The first type is when the locked room is created after the actual crime is committed. This simply means that the killer commits his crime, then through some special method seals the room. This mainly involves some sort of trick involving the locking of the room. Basic approaches include using a string or simple mechanisms. There are n a number of variations. So for that, all we'd have to do is check the door to see if that's what it was, right? The second type is when the locked room already exists before the crime is committed. Oh, Basically, the killer uses a special contraption or tool from outside to target the victim inside. You push a switch and it fires a handgun. You shoot an arrow through a gap in the door. Something like that. But in this case, that doesn't seem to fit. There are no guns or arrows in the school, and the door doesn't have any gap that would allow it. I mean, it seems like Sakura was poisoned, right? Yeah, I think we can probably cross that one off the list. The third type is when the killer stays in the room until it's opened up. What do you mean by that? Alright, Panda! Have a beautiful night. Thank you for tuning in. They stay hidden, and when the door is open, they use the confusion to blend in with the group. They pretend they showed up along with everyone else, and that's that. That sounds like it could have been possible, maybe. And the fourth and final type is when it wasn't actually a locked room at all. Not a locked room. By that I mean there actually is an alternate escape route somewhere within the room. You see, this, uh, you see this a lot in novels and things, but in reality it's generally not possible. Then you think we can cross that one off too? I believe so, yes. So when it comes to locked room mysteries, those are the basics. So there are four possibilities. Then, Kyoko, which of those four choices seems the most likely in this case? That's a good question. Answering that should be our primary focus during this trial. But right now, I can't really say. I see. 
The way to kill a set of the locked room. Until I figured that out, the truth behind Sakura's death must stay hidden. It's definitely a tough mystery. I need to concentrate and investigate as much as I can. For Sakura, if nothing else. Alrighty! Alrighty. Alright, my lovely coffee weeps. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I have to work tomorrow, so it's time for me to hit the hay too. I mean, eat something and then hit the hay. Um, if you're new to the stream and enjoyed it, please consider to drop a follow. And uh, I'll be probably back tomorrow in the evening. <laughs> Maybe not, actually. I might take a break tomorrow. Um, I will see. Missed half of the story, but good job. <laughs> sorry, Prince, sorry. I appreciate these short streams that end early. That's nice, Apes. That is nice, yeah. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be there tomorrow. I might take a break tomorrow. Um, you know, I need to a little bit watch out for myself to not... I'm enjoying it right now, don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying it very much to stream so much, but I need to watch out for myself to not, you know, get fully consumed by it again. Because that, over time, gets me to a dark place. <laughs> so I wanna, and I'm really enjoying the weather right now. I'm enjoying being outside, doing stuff in my apartment, and I want to keep it that way. Don't go to a dark place. I know, I know. And you know, I also have a pretty good rhythm currently. Yeah, I want to keep it that way. Oh, you thought it was Thursday? No, it wasn't. Yeah, he, thank you. Enjoy your free time. Enjoy your free time. Yeah, at the latest, I will be back on Thursday in the evening. The actual stream day. Yes, stream is over. I have to work tomorrow. Outside while quarantine? I mean, if you're outside alone or with a friend, it's fine, right? Just go to a place that is not crowded. All right, guys, have a beautiful night. See you at the latest on Thursday in the evening. Bye-bye. Hello, a beautiful evening to you beautiful people. How are you doing? No options, I'm sorry, Prince. God, I'm stuck here with my chair. Okay, there we go. Damn, is this real life? Streams every evening? <laughs> my life currently is work. Like, it's, it's literally getting up, drinking a coffee, working, eating, streaming, Eating a little bit more, sleeping. <laughs> Those are my days currently. Um, but I, I think I will, uh, on the weekend, I will go out. Sounds fun. <laughs> I would love, I already uh, told you, I'm, I'm really missing table soccer. I want to go play table soccer so bad. I don't even have my own table soccer to play. Like, I can't even play, you know? If I, if I could, though, maybe I would miss it more than buy it. I can't afford it. You, you know, the cheap, those cheap table suckers, like, I can't play on, like, they're trash, they're garbage. Like, a table sucker I play on, like, a, tr a tournament table sucker is at least 1,000 euro. I'm not even joking. That's, a, that's the cheap home version. Like, the actual, the actual tournament table suckers that you find like at the national championships or also the regional championships, they cost 2,000 euro. I'm not joking. <laughs> so I can't afford it. <laughs> Before I buy that, I will buy a streaming PC. Because as we all know, my, my, poor, my poor laptop um, needs some support and love. So, yeah, I'm planning on, like, no matter what, even if I get, like, the heat issues under control, I am planning on getting a streaming PC, but I will have to save for, save for that for a little while. Um, 
I mean, I'm back to working four days per week and I got also got a raise and salary. So uh, I will be doing a lot better financially the following month. But I also have a little bit of debt uh, with my mom. So I have to repay her first. And Dayton, how are you? I shall hydrate. A beautiful evening to you. Yeah, updating PCs is never cheap. But yeah, so I will be doing financially a lot better. Um, but if for, like I still, I have to repay some debt first and then I can buy some stuff for myself. Ooh, I'm actually not sure what that costs right now, but isn't that also like, I don't know, close to 1000 or something, 1000 euro or something? Might be mixing it up. Oh, wait, it's that cheap? Oh, wait, then I'm mixing it up. I just recently read about, uh, like, newer GPUs. Oh, it's the CPU. Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. I thought you were talking about the new Ryzen GPU. Okay. Yeah, $150 isn't too bad. But yeah, mainly I want to get a streaming PC. The thing is, if I get the seating over here under control, like a streaming PC is always an okay investment because it means I can use this laptop longer because I can still play on this laptop and then just use the uh, PC to stream to take some... Um, what well, words? Well... Make it easier for my laptop, basically. And when this laptop dies, eventually I can get like an additional PC. I mean, that sounds right, Kingsnaker. Yeah, uh, capture cards aren't cheap. Definitely. I mean, I got instead of the card, I mean, I obviously can't put a card inside my laptop. So I got this instead. Uh, the only downside of this is that it can't do 4K, obviously. But I mean, who am I kidding? I, like, even if I had the capture card, I wouldn't be able to stream 4K. I, I like my PC wouldn't be able to do it. And also uh, as an affiliate, I'm limited to a six, uh, 6k upload, so you can't stream 4k with that. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. Mm. Everything is more expensive in Russia right now. Oh, really? Because uh, the imports are slowed down? Is it because of the imports? Oh, yeah, okay. That sucks, man. That really sucks. I actually got my green screen cheaper. I don't know why, but the Elgato green screen, I got it a lot cheaper than usually. It's because our currency sucks. <gasps> and date then. Hi. I already greeted you, but you, but you didn't say anything back. And now you're talking to King Snaker instead. Oh yeah, that CPU definitely. I mean, a, an i5 isn't terrible, but it's definitely, I would definitely upgrade that too. Welcome back, apes. Good thing. Yeah, no, we haven't even started playing. I'm starting the game now. We were chatting. We were just chatting. Yeah, Kingsnaker, yeah, yeah. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, <laughs> I can't even, like, I can't even work, I can't work with uh, 12 gigabytes of RAM. I need 16 gigabytes of RAM, actually. At least. Dandemon. 
Is it always Mondo on the right side on the starting screen? I was just wondering. I think I never paid attention to it, but if so, why Mondo? Why is Mondo on the starting screen? Do you think it's always him? Hmm. Why Mondo though? Yeah, I also have an i7, uh, i7 6700 HQ. Yeah, I know, Prince. It says for me I have zero viewers too. Nine thousand seven hundred uh, K is a high end CPU. Yeah, that's definitely it's way better than my CPU, but it's still a good CPU like mine. It's a good CPU for a gaming laptop. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I don't know why it, Twitch says I have zero viewers. I mean, obviously you few guys are here, but I mean, in the end, what does it matter? I'm actually gonna reload really quick. Uh... Nope, it still says zero viewers. Does it say one viewer for you now? Yeah, very weird. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes Twitch does that. I guess they have some sort of bug going on. It's okay, chat. I have been streaming for zero viewer, zero viewers a lot of times. I can live with that. <laughs> it's okay. Not that I'm lonely in these times, anyways. All right. <laughs> uh. There we go. You like AMD more than Intel though? Just you just like the brand better or why? Yeah, Apes, of course. AMD mid-range CPUs have 12 threads, so what you're saying is that cheaper AMD CPUs are better than cheaper Intel CPUs? Where do you think you'd be if you never stopped streaming in German? Hmm. I had a bigger viewer base in German and it was constantly growing. I mean... But to be honest, if you now look at my follower account, most of those followers are from streaming in English. Like, I think if, well, or is it true? I think when I started streaming in English, I was like at a follower account of like 700 or something. I think, so most of my followers actually now come from streaming in English. Um, though I also, and I also lost followers. I lost followers when I swapped to English. Um, so what I, I think if I had kept streaming in German, I probably would have a way higher viewer base, but it would also be more capped in a way, you know? Like the thing is, there are le is less competition when I stream in German because there are less German streamers, but there's also a smaller viewer base. So I don't know, maybe I would have 100 viewers now on an on average maybe but uh the potential of how many viewers i could get would be lower i mean you can still become a big streamer in one language don't get me wrong and there are enough german viewers i mean there are very popular big german streamers obviously but it's it's harder to get to that point Yeah, exactly, Prince. Exactly. It's like, 
it's easier. Like when I started streaming in German, I had viewers from day one, you know, like it wasn't many like day one, but day one, like I, I literally like the first hour I had one to two viewers. And then after, after three hours, I already had five viewers. And then, you know, three days later, I already had over 10 viewers, <laughs> you know, like you grow very fast. Um, and it's a very tight community. So that is also sweet in a way, because you know, like I, I knew all the German heart, like medium size to small size German Hearthstone streamers, right? It was a little community. We also did some tournaments together and stuff on stream. So it was really nice. It was a nice community. Also with drama though, which I didn't really like. These days, Sami has two viewers in two seconds. <laughs> But what I'm saying is also, um, yeah, it's like, it's easy to, I think it is, it would, would have been relatively easy for me to get partnership. But after that, there is like a huge gap to these super big German streamers, right? And I think it's, it's very luck dependent to actually get there. If, if you even get there, because also like localized streams are getting less and less popular, right? Like kids grow up with the internet. They grow up watching stuff in English. Like they grow up communicating in English with people from all over the world. Like I myself, I don't watch German streams really, very rarely. Like sometimes I stumble across one and tune in a little bit, but very, very rarely I do I watch a German stream. Yeah, Kingsnake, it is true uh, that obviously since I'm streaming English, there are, there is a significant bigger amount of streamers streaming in English and it is overpopulated in a way but also the potential is big because as overpopulated as it is and this sounds really mean now right but there are a lot of garbage streams <laughs> i'm not saying i'm great but there are a lot of gar garbage streams all right it's like <laughs> like uh there are a lot of like kids or just I mean, it's fine. Like you can just stream for fun. This is not judging. This is not me judging the people. Like if you just stream for friends and for fun, totally fine, right? But there are the, also a lot of kids, teenagers, young people that are like, I'm gonna be famous on Twitch. And all they do is sitting in front of the cam, playing, not doing anything. Um, and I get that it's hard at the start to get into it, like commenting, etc. right? But uh, yeah, there are a lot of like people that are a little bit uh, delu de delusional. I don't know about it. Yeah, Prince, exactly. It's okay, Sami, I know what you mean. <laughs> No, like I'm, I'm not judging, like it's totally cool. Like I'd also know people that really just stream for friends with friends to chat and that's totally cool. They are not planning to entertain a, 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 an audience of people they don't know. And that is totally cool. But there are those people that think they are going to get famous that way. And then after a month or so, they go around on Twitter and complain how they still average zero to three viewers, right? That's the people I mean. But, um, yeah, no, I, 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 I am happy I made the decision to stream in English, like definitely 100%. Um, because it, like it just suits me better let's be real it just suits me better 
Like, I myself don't like watching German streams. Like, I, when I streamed in German, I had that issue also. I, I played all my games in English. I played Hearthstone in English. And German viewers would come in and ask me about cards in German. And I didn't know which cards they were, were talking about. And I didn't like the attitude of some German people, like, coming in being like, you know, that, like, subtle, subtle racism of, like, oh, I'm happy I, I found one true German on this p platform, you know, that blonde girl streaming in German. Thank God there are still some Germans around on this platform. Like, <laughs> that happened pretty often. I hated it. I remember Sami being confused when she had to ask a question on Twitch card in German. Yeah, actually true. The more I stream, the more I am confused with English and German. Oh, uh, your yeah, internet keeps dying. I'm sorry, Prince. I'm sorry, but yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it just suits me better because I. I like communicating with people from all over the world. I like speaking English. I like learning other languages. I like learning about other cultures. Um, yeah, and if you if I if you stream like in your own language or at least for Germans, you run into a lot of these very national proud people that refuse to watch anything in English. Yeah, right, Kingsnaker, that's also the thing, like, when you, if, if you're ambitious about games, you, you go research in English and not in your own language. Panda, hey, a beautiful evening, nice to hear. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so, yeah, I, I don't regret it, I think, also, like, even though my viewer base now is small, I have a very dedicated viewer base. I never had such a dedicated viewer base before. And I'm really thankful for that. Like, I really am. You have no idea, especially now, that I can't go out and play table soccer or whatever. And um, yeah, you have no idea how, how great it is for me right now to be able, like, after work in the evening, turn on the stream and hang out with you. Like, especially right now, it's, it's just so valuable. And it's not me just playing some Hearthstone and explaining, like, the same things over and over again to a sh shifting audience. I mean, they are very good Russian players. Yeah, of course, of course, Kingsnaker. Yeah, 100%. Like, um, if you're very, very, if you're ambitious about a game and looking into it, um, you do, um, you do usually research in English too. It almost feels like a salami cult. <laughs> ah, Solheim, nice you're here. Coffee weep cult, all right? We actually, initially, we called as a cult. I like, we, 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 we did call as a cult because we were playing Throne of Lies, right? So it, it was, initially, it was the cult. Before the coffee weeps came. Okay, let's start with the investigation. Before, before I'm dying out of all the laugh <laughs> I'm feeling here. I'm so sorry to hear, Prince. Hey, Blue Saturn, nice to hear again. There's a blood stain in front of the magazine shelf. It must have come from Sakura, right? But that doesn't make sense. Why is it so far away from where she died? This looks like some kind of wrapper. Ah, oh, that's... Do you recognize it, Hina? Well, yeah, I mean, I gave it to her. That's a candy wrapper. 
Sakura got super upset when she found out Genocide Jack had attacked me, right? So after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. I thought it might help her calm down a little. So you gave that candy to Sakura. I found a big box of it in the warehouse. I really like them. Actually, as soon as we could get into the warehouse, I took the entire box back to my room. I made sure nobody else could get their hands on him. You really like them that much? But I wanted Sakura to get a chance to try one for herself. That's why I gave it to her. But now they've lost all their flavor. Hina. Hmm. Hmm. Poisoned by a candy? Everyone have, having sappy moments and I'm just trying to keep stream up. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it, if I learn a language, it's definitely uh, fun to watch streams in that language. There's some kind of plastic container rolling around near the entrance to the room. It looks like a protein drink and it's empty. Sakura must have drank it. Everyone knows how much she loved her protein. Yeah, her protein drink could have been poison too. It's not necessarily the candy. And she mentioned more than once how protein was good for all sorts of ailments. I wouldn't take that to heart if I were you, I know. But still, this protein can, it's got a label on it that says Chem A2. That reminds me, Sakura mentioned how the chem lab had all kinds of health stuff, so she must have gotten this from the chem lab. But that's strange. What is? You see what's scattered around the can? Shards of light blue glass, they must be part of the window I broke to get inside. But they aren't just scattered around the can, they're also underneath it. Why does that matter? I can't say for sure yet, but you're probably going to want to take note of it. I feel like it will become an important clue later on. Did somebody drop it after I, we shattered the glass to make it look like she was poisoned by the drink? Sleepy, hey, a beautiful evening to you. Nice to hear. Important clue, I'm not sure I see how. Hmm. There are shots of glass scattered all around the chair Sakura was sitting on. The glass is all red and these are the top and bottom sec sections of a bottle, right? So this must have originally been a bottle. Oh, there's something else on the ground near the glass. It's a figure, it fits in the palm of my hand. It's a Monokuma figure. Hmm. Oh, it's from these. There are four red bottles lined up on the shelf. And inside each bottle there's some kind of Monokuma figure. What I'm wondering is how they get those figures inside the bottles. So... It's no different from your standard ship in a bottle. Huh? You know where the bottle's opening is smaller than the boat placed inside? You've never seen that. Oh yeah, maybe I have. So this is the Monokuma version of that. A Monokuma bottle, if you will. I feel like I'm finally starting to make sense of things little by little. The Monokuma bottle sitting on the shelf. The Monokuma figure we found on the ground. The red shards of glass, which probably started out as a bottle. Which would mean Sakura must have been hit in the head with a Monokuma bottle, right? The shards of glass and the Monokuma figure are evidence of that. So I think it's safe to say that the Monokuma bottle was the weapon. But there's no blood. Sakura drew her last breath sitting slumped forward in this chair. There's obvious evidence of the blow to the head Sakura su suffered. Oh, okay. So there was a blow to the head. <laughs> Abe's so mean today. Normally I wouldn't have any problem believing that that's what killed her, but according to the Monokuma file she had also vomited blood. I can see a trace of blood on her lips for sure. So what would have caused her to vomit blood? The Monokuma file specific specifically said she hadn't suffered any other injuries. So yeah. 
She was poisoned. What the fuck? I'm just trying to engage in a conversation. So, so that's how you engage in conversations, yeah? <laughs> so who's the culprit, Sammy? Mm. Ah, so she was poisoned. Hmm. I kind of want to say it is Hina. There's like a there's like a conflict inside me where like I'm thinking it would be it would be a good anime twist for it to be Hina. Also, as I already said, at this point Hina should be a murderer, not a victim. But then there's that other side that like they were friends, and it would be really brutal. Well, Abe says had her bet on Toku to die, not to be the murderer. Yeah, I think for now, I mean, I'm gonna make more assumptions later on, obviously. We don't know much yet. But for now, I'm gonna say Hina. Maybe her getting hit on the head somehow caused her to start vomiting blood? Not a chance. Pyakia. However, your eyes have landed on a most interesting location. Interesting. Yes, most interesting. Don't you agree? No, I don't think I'd call it interesting. But it does make me wonder. The reason Sakura vomited blood absolutely has to be connected to why she died. Hmm... But for Sakura to have been killed... Yeah, she's not the type who would go down without a fight. And she certainly didn't, I would say. She was the ultimate martial artist, strong in body, mind and spirit. So how was the killer able to get the upper hand on her? I wonder, did someone get the upper hand? They must have taken her by surprise, right? Certainly. certainly. They would have needed to if they expected to stand any chance against her. already know who did it. Yakia Toko Hiro, it had to be one of them. They couldn't stand the sight of her. You agree with me, don't you, Mikado? Well, I don't want to say anything for sure without finding out more. Then let me help you find out more. You see, Sakura asked all three of them to meet with her, you know where? Right here in the rec room. What? After I went to the nurse's office this morning, Sakura and I both left together, right? Well, eventually she went off on her own, but when I saw her again after that, she told me she said she'd left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her in the rec room by noon. By noon? The Monokuma file said she died right around then. I'm telling you the truth. I heard it right from Sakura herself, and I tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. She said not to worry, that she just wanted to talk to them. And this is what happened. If I'd stopped her by force, even, this never would have happened. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess it would be too much of an act for it to be Hina. Shiny tits. <laughs> what? What did I do? I didn't even mention the tits before. <laughs> King Snaker, what what are you referring to? <clears throat> Hina, it's impossible not to have regrets. I know. Yeah, I don't know. It probably would be too much of an act by Hina for her to have done it. Because I said twist? Really? The fact that she had asked those three to meet with her and she asked them to come to the rec room at noon, the same time and place she ended up dying. It might be good to confirm what I just heard with the three of them directly. And that's weird. And I mean, if all three came, this wouldn't have happened, right? 
Oh, what do you want? You're bothering me. And there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Make it quick. Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her in the rec room? So you found out. Interesting. That's true. I did receive a note to that effect, yes. But what fool would do what it said and risk being killed by that monster? So you didn't go see her? Of course not. I ripped the note to shreds and threw it away. I haven't seen Sakura today at all. Deku says he didn't go see her. Is that the truth? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. If you're all finished, please remove yourself from my sight. Okay, thanks. Hmm. I thought maybe a coup is missing there. Magazines. That same shelf full of magazines. There's all different kinds of magazines here. Hmm. Oh. Huh, the locker's open and there on the inside it's a handprint. So was someone hiding in there? I feel like a locked room murder would be a Byakuya thing to do. You're not wrong, but I do think based on Byakuya's character that he enjoys the game so much that he's gonna go last. What's the handprint doing here? It looks it looks like someone touched the inside of the locker and left the handprint and all the dust. It looks like it looks quite fresh too. I'd say someone was hiding here in the locker and they left behind a little something extra. Okay, so what if someone was hiding in there while we were opening the door? So they were still inside. Hmm, but would they really be able to get out unnoticed? But the cup on the shards was also an indicator for something that was placed later. Yeah, I think Byakuya enjoys the game too much, so he rather waits and sees, like, lets the other, let the other people do their murders first. So then, maybe the killer hid in here until the locked room was open, don't you think? And during all the confusion, they popped out and joined the rest of the group. Unfortunately, that's not a possibility. Why not? Think back, before we opened the door, we looked inside the room, right? Oh yeah, and the locker was already open at that point. So there's no way someone could have hidden in there until after we opened the door. Yeah, so then, what does this handprint mean? Yeah, the handprint is also more like I'm trying to get out, so maybe instead someone was locked in there. But I don't know, it doesn't look like Sakura would fit in there. This door is the only way in or out of the rec room. The door doesn't have a lock and there's no evidence that the mountings have been tampered with. The only notable change to the door is the smashed window, which happened of course when I broke it to get inside. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. Okay. Oh, the chair. The chair was shoved up against the doorknob, so we couldn't get the door open. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the chair. In other words, there's no reason to think the chair had anything special done to it. Hmm. Having examined both the door and the chair, there's no doubt the reason the door didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. This kept the doorknob from turning and the door from opening. And there was no evidence of the door or chair being tampered with or anything like that. So the killer must have created the locked door from the inside, not from the outside. Listen. Well, Makoto, have you finished with your general investigation? Yeah, I think so, for the most part. Then you should probably go talk with people now. I'm on guard duty, so I can't leave. Which is why I've decided you'll go in my place. 
She's decided. She's gotten a lot more pushy since we had our issue. But she's right, I do have to go talk to the others. Sakura wanted to meet with two other people. I need to hear what they have to say. Uh. Maybe the handprints are a clue of a steamy exchange between individuals. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Those other two probably went back to their rooms. Ding, 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 ding. So let's talk to Toko first, I guess. If she's in here. I pressed the doorbell. And after a few seconds... There? Your game broke? Which game? Nah, the most negative aura I've ever felt. An aura of total decay. Unexpected that this is voiced. Yeah, Sleepy is such a simp, right? She didn't look like she was in a good mood. I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? Abyss Odyssey. I kind of forgot what game that is, but it does say, like it does ring a bell. Oh, it's a rope like Smash Brothers, okay. Obviously annoyed, Toko slithered out into the hall. What do you, want? you said you wanted to talk to me about something? I wanted to talk about the fact that Sakura had asked to meet with you. I don't know what you're talking about. Byakuya already told me she had asked to meet with him. What? She wanted to meet with Master too? I just said too, didn't I? I guess now it's totally obvious, huh? Yeah, pretty much. So can you tell me about it? I admit, I did get the note, but I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Hmm, Togo claims she didn't go see her, but I do wonder, like, Sakura, like, really not the smartest. She should have just written, like, or she should have just invited them all at the same time, or... She should have made clear that all three of them are invited together so they feel safe. Hmm, Toki claims she didn't go see her, but can I really believe her? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. Is that good enough that I'm going back to my room? With that, Toko quickly retreated into her room. Alright, hero. Oh wait, can we check Sakura's room? This is Sakura's room. Hmm. I guess not. I think we learned that no one here is smart, Sami. <laughs> I pressed the doorbell. And after a few seconds... What's up, Makoto? Did you need something? Yeah, actually I just wanted to check something. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. How do you know about that? Uh, did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have you special abilities awakened in you? Um, but but I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. How does Hiro know? That means he went, right? Hiro wouldn't have known otherwise that she invited the others. The others didn't know that more people were invited. Boys aren't allowed in girls' room. My mother told me I'm a clever girl when I was seven. <laughs> uh. Orga told me herself that she asked Byakuya and Toko to come too. What? When did Sakura tell you that? Uh, well, when she asked me to meet with her, of course. 
But didn't she write you a note? Yeah, a note. She, uh, she gave it to me in person and she happened to mention the others, like, in passing. I gotta be honest, this is super suspicious. It's so suspicious that Hero is probably not it, Apes. Because he kind of seems that, like the obvious target right now, but maybe that changes. If he's still the obvious target at the start of the trial, though, he, trial though, he's not gonna. It's not gonna be him. Hold your horses, Sami. Okay. So then you went and met with Sakura. No way! I totally didn't. Why would I ever do that? Yeah, definitely suspicious. The last time I saw Ogre was when Hina got hurt, and I took her to the nurse's office. I haven't seen her since then. While well, I'm here, could you show me the note she gave you? Um, oh, um, do I still have it? Let's see. He was feeling around his pockets. Ah, uh, sorry, looks like I don't have it anymore. With the big goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. But when he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. The same candy paper. <laughs> I wonder like it's like are the Leon numbers they are probably a global meme for every Danganronpa streamer right it's not just this stream right in every fucking Danganronpa stream the numbers are spammed for all the silly for all the silly obvious things huh uh Yes, yeah. Actually, no. <gasps> oh, we have conflicting opinions here. I watched three streams. And there it wasn't. Okay. So... Hmm. Okay, after three streams you watched Kingsnaker. Uh, did everyone see Leon? Do you remember? Or did actually someone see the numbers instead? Quick as the wind, Hero snatched it back up again. All streams I watched, these numbers were everywhere. And shoved it back into his pocket. Hey, come on. Yeah, sorry, just a bit of trash I forgot to throw out. Trash? Uh, anyway, I can't deny that Ogre asked to meet with me, but I never went. So, well, if you'll excuse me? Before waiting for a reply, Hero quickly slipped back into his room. Okay, here's what I think, Cap. Uh, here's what I think. I think Hero was there in the rec room. I think the locker finger fingerprints, handprints, are Hero's. I think Hero found himself in a situation where he was maybe set up again he didn't actually kill sakura but it would have looked like he killed sakura was hero locked into a locker again I'm not saying I'm too smart, Kingsnaker. No, no, no. But I think Solheim said that, like, it was the other way around, you know? I was ranting about, like, how anyone could not see Leon be written there. And I think Solheim mentioned how other streams had, um, other streamers actually did see the numbers there and not the name. I think Hero was the murder weapon. Uh, listen, about the topic of stream lags, there might or there might not be something happening, which I can't explain because it would involve me using a word that is banned here, all right? It's not the Elgato, no, it's not the Elgato. <laughs> <gasps> Schrodinger's leg, exactly! <laughs> Sleepy got it! <laughs> 5 by 7 is downloading? No, no, no. 
Uh, but that does remind me, I need to check really quick my Steam settings. I might have said at some point that uh, it's allowed to download while I'm playing, which I obviously don't want when I'm streaming. Um... Okay, no, it's good. It shouldn't download anything. Okay. Uh, but it does look... I'm just not gonna say I'm sorry. I'm just gonna continue chat. Everything is good or not. To be good or not to be good. Are you downloading Table Soccer Simulator? God. I remember actually when I started playing Table Soccer, someone here in the Table Soccer community made a little browser game. A little browser game where you uh, were like, where you were like, you had to go work to make money and then you could like upgrade your table soccer at home to have better practice and have your skills increase more in table soccer and there then you could like play tournaments and stuff. It was actually pretty awesome. It didn't have much layout going on. It, like not much graphics or anything it was all just text based but it was pretty cool what do you mean ps4 is not running turn off stream to reduce lag i know games like this yeah yeah it's like very old school browser games basically it's like rpg style a little bit Usually upgrade your PC in these games. Yeah, in that one you upgraded your table circuit so you can gain more skills. But yeah, uh, before waiting for a reply, Hero quickly slipped back into his room. Hero said that was just trash, but there's no way that's all there was to it. Yeah, it's uh, the candy wrapper. I did shut it down after that, but to be honest. No, nope. it's turned off. <laughs> I, I remember Tronster pointing that out and I remember turning it off afterwards, but I wouldn't know like if I turn it on afterwards again and forgot again to turn it off. Okay. Um, so I've heard from Toko and Hiram. What next? I'll definitely have to look at the actual crime scene again, but on top of that, maybe I should find out more about the protein can we found on the floor of the rec room. I'm sure it must have come from the cam lab. So where should I start? All right, cam lab it is. Anyway, PS4 can download in standby mode. Yeah, it's not even in standby mode. But it does seem fine to me right now. It seems like that in case anything was lagging, it is not lagging anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm I'm a I'm a strong fighter of standby modes myself. Makoto, did you have your eye on the cam lab too? Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. I think what you meant to say was yes, sir. I understand. This isn't my first time seeing the shelf, but I just can't get over how big it is. I should probably take a closer look at it. It's at A2. It looks like three shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf. But more important right now, what's that powder that's been spilled in front of the shell? To be careful not to step in it. There's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where all the powder came from? It looks like the bottle had a label on it. Chem C4. Would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning checking things out and at that point this room wasn't like this. Then this powder must have been spilled. 
That's right, it could only have been around the time of the incident. If that really is when it happened, it must be related to the case somehow. My mom used to always turn up the TV and put the remote on top of it, and I heard many Germans do this. Why do they even have a remote? You're right, Sleepy. My mom used to do the same. She would put the remote... I mean, it's still like you take it, turn it on, and then you take it with you from wherever you watch, but yeah. I guess it's easy to find if it's right next to the TV or on top of the TV. Source of the powder has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. These are footprints, and they're only in front of the left shelf. How do these footprints relate to the scene as a whole? We may need to sketch out the floor plan. By we, do you mean me? How kind of you to offer. With an unsufferable smirk, he handed me a piece of paper and a pen. Oh, let's go, chop chop! Oh, okay. So I got to work, and before long I'd drawn up a sketch of the room. Hmm, so how's this? Not bad, for you, I mean. For me. So when you look at it like this, interesting. It would appear that whoever left these footprints only had business at the leftmost shelf. They came in, went straight to that shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. That's what the footprints tell me. These footprints must be... Makoto, are they yours? No. Okay, then let me see your shoes and I'll confirm the size for myself. Couldn't think of a reason not to, so I quietly did what Byakuya said. I see. Your feet do appear to be too big. Too big? Come on, who's the only person having smaller feet than Makoto? Makoto is pretty tiny. It's Hina, actually. Unfortunately, I must admit these are not your footprints. Unfortunately. But with how clear these prints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. And these prints are really valuable clue. Let's see, what's on this shelf? There are all kinds of dietary supplements and different medicines. The protein drink we found in the rec room probably came from this shelf. All containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter A and a number, so I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section A. Huh, but wait. There's one bottle here that's labeled Chem C9. Could someone have put it here on accident? So on this shelf is, it looks like a bunch of chemicals that I have no idea what they are. They're reagents, but simply they're used in, put simply, they're used in experiments to bring about a chemical reaction. How have you lived in such ignorance for so long? It must truly be bliss. I isn't that kind of harsh? What? You think studying science and mathematics has no practical application in the real world? The words of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. Did you just assume her feet size? <laughs> yes, I did. You wouldn't have dared to, right? Let me enlighten you. 2020 is the year where we dare to assume again. Because we're not doing it to hurt feelings. We are just standing true to our principles of perception and imagination. <laughs> you know what they say about dudes with tiny feet. Oh no. <gasps> You stop banging apes. <laughs> Not sure that's the word you wanted to use. <laughs> oh. I didn't even say that. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Right now I need to focus on the shelf. <laughs> you started it, apes. 
Here's a proof that taking a break from things can help you solve them. What did you solve, Prince? All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter B and a number, so I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section B. Hmm, I don't see anything out of the ordinary here, in which case I don't think I have to worry too much about this shelf. On this shelf is... One look and I can tell it's nothing but dangerous chemicals. Though these look like poisons and other powerful chemicals. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter C and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section th C. I should try to find out more about the shelving unit. It looks like it's split into three sections. Section A has dietary supplements, section B has reagents, and section C has lethal chemicals. Sakura must have gotten the protein powder from section A. But what concerns me is that in section A there was a bottle with a label from section C. What was a bottle of poison from section C doing in section A? There's definitely something going on there. Oh really, there's more? There's a bunch of scatter on the floor, I better not leave a footprint. There's also the remains of a broken bottle. It looks like the bottle was labeled Chem C4. Also, it looks like someone left footprints in the powder. Based on the positioning of the foot of the prints, whoever it was only went to the left side of the shelf. According to Byakuya, the powder would had to have been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now. I've already taken a good look at the cam lab. Maybe I should take another look around the rec room. I was not hammering the table. I mean, there's a lot of words punching the table, hammering the table. But apes banging? Come on. <laughs> Sleepy. <laughs> uh. Is that why I saw... Uh, no, uh... The wiener is proportional in size to man's feet. There are so many theories about like what there's also that theory about the nose and uh. hey. <laughs> Apes no 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 apes no Please Please apes <laughs> no. So Makoto, how's the investigation going? I told Kyoko what Toko and Hiro had told me. See, so along with Byakuya, they're both claiming they didn't go see her. But it's all too convenient. Someone must be lying. Someone's lying. Well, I've made some progress of my own. Sakura's body, the shelf of magazines, and the Monokuma bottles. These, are th these three things have revealed new clues. You'd do well to look them over one more time. Kyoko said the magazine shelf was hiding a clue of some kind. Hmm. Huh, the magazine is upside down. Did someone put it back the way on, that way on incident? If something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. I picked up the inverted magazine, flipped through it. Th this is... Chat, now you can put out the numbers. <laughs> well done, Ames, well done. Toko. This is... Uh... <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Makoto is a simp. And yes, Makoto is a simp, 100%. On one of the pages near the center of the magazine, a word had been written in bold, bloody letters, and it said Toko. 
Could this be a dying message? Correct. It would appear you found it. Kyoko, is this? So... It is indeed a dying message. Someone used their finger to write it. I mean, it could be a fake message, but yeah, a dying message. But just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly as I found it for the benefit of others who might come looking. Um... Hey, is that... That says Toko, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Then she's the killer, right? Well, it hasn't been confirmed yet. It's settled, she's the killer for sure. That's conclusive evidence, right? We can use it to corner the killer. I mean, the killer could have written it too. I mean, the killer could have written that too and on purpose put the magazine the wrong way in to make it more obvious. Uh, I don't know. Though I guess it is weird to put it back in because it might not get noticed at all. But you could make sure that it gets noticed. A big old sim boy. <laughs> uh. And like, okay, apes, maybe I made it perf, but you brought it to a whole nother level. <laughs> I can see why you would think that, but it just seems too easy. If anything, it makes me that much more suspicious. Makoto, that is the first smart thing I've heard from you in a long, long time. Magazine dying message has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Uh, what else did she say? The bottles. I think Yoko said she'd found a new clue involving the Monokuma bottles. Something new, something new. Hmm, it's chess pieces. So, did you figure it out? There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay careful attention and you're sure to find it. It's chess pieces. Correlation, hmm. Hey Kyoko, can't you just tell me what it is? So... I don't mind guiding you towards clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusion so that everyone can have confidence in the outcome. It's not just because you don't trust me, right? No answer? I do trust you to a degree, otherwise I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to a degree. Hey. Actually, there's one other thing about the Monokuma bus that's bothering me. I would like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? Experiment. Anyway. Can you gather all the pieces of the broken Monokuma bottle? Try to get the smaller pieces too? Are you sure it's okay to mess with the crime scene like that? I've already done a thorough investigation, so it's fine. That obnoxious Byaki is not here, so... Anyway, I need to get something from the cam lab, but I'm gonna try to get up all the glass. With that, Kyoko left the room. I really don't know what this is about, but what choice do I have? I'd better just do it. I took the broom and dustpan and got to work collecting all the broken bottle pieces. And just as I finished up... Sorry to keep you waiting. Is everything ready? Then let's get to work. So what kind of experiment are we doing? I got a scale from the cam lab. We're going to use it to compare weights. Compare the weights of what? The pieces of glass you collected and one of the monokuma belts that's still intact. They want to do that. That's the point of the experiment. It will make sense when we're done. First, let's compare the weight of two of the normal monokuma bottles. It's balanced, which means each Monokuma bottle weighs about the same, which makes sense. The Monokuma figures inside are basically the same and nothing else could really affect the weight. But they're not really the same, it's different chess figures. They should actually be different in weight. Yeah, Ibs, that is a lot better. <laughs> The weight of depression, oh my god. Now, here comes the important part. But all the pieces you picked up on the side of the scale. Now, what might we expect to see? Well, well, normal assumption would be either they'll balance out or the pieces I collected will be lighter. I did my best to get them all, but there's a chance I could have missed some here and there. Okay, then let's give it a try. Huh. The broken pieces are heavier. How is that possible? Just as I thought. What? 
The result of our experiment and the correlation between each of the bottles put it all together. Was it two bottles missing? Is it two bottles actually? And I believe you will arrive at one very per safe conclusion. So what do you think? It's all on you. Hmm. According to Kyoko, there's still something to be discovered from Sakura's body. Just, Just staring off into space isn't going to help you figure anything out. Yeah, I know, but don't you think you might need to actually examine the body? There's no getting around it. Like me, Kyoko didn't recoil at the thought of touching a dead body. She was completely unemotional. It's the kind of thing I've grown perversely used to. Although there's still some times. I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't get used to it. That's totally normal. Then how can you? I imagine it's because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. What? Sorry, never mind. More importantly, look here. The shoes. You see that yellow powder on her instep? Yeah, it really stands out. That powder is clue number one. Hmm. Next is the wound to her head. Look carefully. Actually, even telling you that, it's incredibly difficult to spot, so let me just explain. It would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow, but instead received two blows to the head. So yeah, it was two bottles. Two blows. Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there's one more interesting thing. Both of her hands were spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood on either one. If you would be coughing blood, wouldn't you put your hand in front of your mouth and have some blood on the hand? Let's take some secure anybody else into necrophilus. Ugh. I bet she's the ultimate survivor and she's actually the one walking out of here. Yeah, I had this idea that she already played this game before, right? She's the winner of the last round, basically. Don't cough in your hands, use your elbow, please. Look here. I live alone. I am free. <laughs> I live alone, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I live alone. Yeah, that's the question, right? Panda, why is she back here? But maybe she's still forced to participate again, Panda. Maybe that's the thing. Even if you walk out of here as the winner, you still have to participate again. Maybe you're never really free. You just walk out of here to do another round. Dual Sami audio? I guess that was on your side, Prince. Both, uh, both of her hands were spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood on either one. It's true. Yeah, right, Panda? <laughs> So that's what I've learned from examining her body in detail. I can't believe she was able to learn all that just by looking at her body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko could have pulled that off. Time for the trial! That suddenly got very dark. <laughs> yeah. Why can't I unlock Sami the Dark? Sami the Dark is, I believe, for the uh, the tier three sub. Let me see. Uh, it actually doesn't say here, but I do think Dark is for the tier three sub. 
It's tier two. Uh, yeah, subs have tiers. Um, you can sub. You can sub for uh, fifteen and twenty-five dollars. I don't. I don't incentivize that. I don't want to incentivize that, which is the reason why um, my tier two and tier three emotes are just alternated versions, basically, and not something fancy. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to put like a super cool emote on those tiers and you have to pay like a, an enormous amount of money to use them. Yeah, I'm actually not sure anymore. Let me, let me check. Uh, 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 where is it? Okay, let me see there okay yeah you're right sammy's are dark is tier 2 emote oh it's the it's a 10 dollar sub not a 15 dollar sub 10 dollar sub tier 2 is sammy's are dark which is just an alternate version of sammy's are fire which is just available to everyone and then tier 3 is sammy's are rainbow which is the alternate version of sammy's are love Um, and the tier 3 sub actually costs $25. Yeah, very expensive. So, yeah, I didn't want to put emotes in there that uh, would, like, be special and different. So they are basically just alternate versions of what you have available as a normal sub anyways. Yeah, apes actually did have all three tiers. Um, I don't know if you can unlock, I think, yeah, I, it might be that you can't unlock tier two and tier three emotes with channel points. I'm not sure. That is a Twitch feature. I don't, I don't know if I can change that. And let me see, actually, I, I will check really quick if I can change it. Uh, uh, uh. Uh God, where is it? Hype train. Ugh. Where are the channel points? I honestly can't find the channel point settings. Halt, stop, has bly, but talis, so assist. What? Panda! Thank you for the bit. Yeah, I, I, will, che I will check it out later. I will check it out later if I can, like, uh, make the other emotes available for unlocking too. Okay. It's already time, but the mystery of the locked room is still only half solved. At this point, whatever happens will have to happen at the class trial. No, not whatever happens. I have to make something happen. 